Let's get to mining with Scooter Brown. Hey, everybody, let's go. Have you heard the talk? Have you heard the clamor about this legendary folk? A man of bricks and glamour, he's got wisdom in his eyes. So much it makes you sick, but underneath his clothes, there's a great big Scooter Brown. He's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown hails down that frown upside down. Some people cannot stand and find him rather vexing. A kooky sort of fellow, the kind you mark the fund of. His belly's big, but he didn't get up and hides his anaconda. Scooter Brown, he's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's a logo celebrity. Oh, Scooter Brown, everybody say, who hey, way? Well, how do you uh, do to you, everybody? It's me, Scooter Brown, waking up here in Rhodes part of the house. We'll go have a little look, see what's going on. Hello, ma'am. Can I uh, squeeze past your ample dairy air? I, I'll go around. It's okay. Hey, big boy. Oh, yes, I am quite large. Thank you. I'm trying to lose my holiday weight, though. Very insulting thing to say to Scooter Brown. Am I gonna be? Hello, there, sir. Hello, yes, it's me, local celebrity. Nice to see you. What a beautiful day here in the state of Monroe. I hope you're all ready for a relaxed Sunday morning with Scooter Brown as we go hunting for nuggies and other nuggies, too. In fact, let me check my little map here. Because I want us to go up into the mountain. Now, where was that mine? I think it's that one up here. That's where we want to go. Go get ourselves some copper. Oh, actually, yes. Thank you. You remind me. Uh, walk style. Right leg. There we go. Oh. Let's get that moving. Come on, Scooter. That's it. Brush it off. Hope. Oh. oh, hang on. Let's see. Amazing birth and hips. <laughs> Howdy, friend. Well, hell, that's hello. a that's a hell of a phrase to turn up to. Uh, yeah, oh, I you have want it. to say this, and I Are cannot really? stress this enough. I'm married to one person and one person only, and her name is Trinity. Me. Hey, look, what 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 you do with with birth and hips is uh, every man's private affairs. I'll ask no further questions. I, I'm just. Are I'm you just a wizard? Sticking it out there that I'm only married to one person, and that person is the woman that with the blue flowers me. in her hair. Well, I, should, I mean, I, I like it. The blue flowers in my hair. I'll be back. Uh, any of you folks a uh, uh, doctor by any chance? Uh, I'm a doctor. He is not a doctor. He is not a doctor. Oh Hi, shit! I'm a doctor. Tell me How what's can wrong. I help you? Hey, hello there, do uh, doctor. Um, I I was treated a little bit up in uh, Ansburg last night. I got dinged in the shoulder with a rifle round. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I I'm seeking out uh, some f proper medical attention when I woke up. They gave me an IV uh, and packed the wound and stuff. Is is it? Come, is it chronic or a flare-up? 
Uh, come, come sit on the porch for me. Thank really. you. I had a bad day yesterday. I'm limping on a can of a wolf bite, too. It was not a good day. Did you get a rabies shot? Got good I, I think so. I went to the uh, uh, the medical in Valentine. They patched me up there. Okay. okay. Just go ahead and have a seat, and we'll take a look. Uh, where did you say this bullet wound was? Uh, it was in my, my right shoulder here. It was a nice through and through. They gave me a, an IV and uh, unpacked the wound, so... I just probably need it closing up. Maybe I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, can you remove your jacket for me, please, sir, if you don't mind? Yeah, no problem. What's it like being a wizard? Uh, a wizard? You think I'm a wizard? Yeah. It's good. I, yeah if I put a spell on you? Yeah, you got some amazing birth and ankle, sir. Oh, uh, uh, thank uh, you. Can you uh, can you roll up your sleeve for me so I can yeah, of course. look at it if you don't mind? I have narcotic necrophilia. No, that no. Yeah, you can get a cream for no. that. Narcolepsy. Can you? Oh, yeah, no, that's right. Epilepsy. No. <laughs> you said it was bandage, right? Yeah, they um. What did they do? They gave me a little needle in the arm and uh, packed the wound out. They gave me some numbing cream for it too. You want some opium? Fuck yes. Gilbert. Fuck yeah, okay, what's I'm that? Just gonna, I'm just gonna remove Ooh. these. I'm just gonna remove them as carefully as possible, okay? Okay, oh thank you. Jesus. Yeah. I was trying to save the locals from a, a damn cougar, and Dying. one of the guards there shot me through the shoulder, son of a bitch. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Riz, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Sherry, Scooter Brown, local celebrity. He is one of two characters I'm currently playing on Ranch. Have a seat right My here. other one is a uh, Obadiah Colt. Filbert, if you don't What's stay dying? out of my office. I'm dying. Did I die? Do you am hear I, me? Am I dead? What? You're, I'm, you're gonna be with your own forks if you don't stay out of my office. Oh. I try, I really. All right. I'm just gonna... Okay. You said you said the bullet was lodged in there, no or was it? Uh, oh no! So, Never mind. Looking at it a little bit more, you got a entry wound and an exit wound. Okay, that makes the job a little easier. Oh yeah, it's good to know. Good shot, whoever it was. Yeah, uh, they look like they missed a lot of vital parts. So um, this is going to require sutures. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to hand you over to Dr. Tillman over there, and she will get you all uh, sutured up. Thank um, you. But for now, uh, can I ask your name so I can look at the report? I don't, who who, uh, who uh, looked at you, if you don't mind me asking? Was it a local? I, I or? No, it was, um, she she wasn't a doctor. She was a medical assistant up in Ansburg. She, she had a cast on her foot. Um, I don't think she had a, a, a local accent. She sounded like she wasn't from around these parts. And like blonde pigtail hair, um, very nice. She gave me the IV and stuff, called for a doctor, but I don't think anyone was around. Okay, um, another quick question. You said you got a wolf bite. Where was the wolf bite at? Uh, that's down on my, on my right thigh. They, uh, bandaged and sutured that up in Valentine. Okay, so that's been taken care of then. Yeah, so and then Did I, you want us to look at it, or, or... I, th I think it, just... it might need a fresh bandage, but that was uh, that was okay. only about an hour before I got shot. So, uh, like I say, bad day. Yeah, sounds like it. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna hand you over to Dr. Tillman here, and she's gonna go ahead and get this wound sutured up for you. And then, um, before you leave, I will change the bandages on your uh, on your wolf bite. Okay. Amazing, y'all are y'all are great. Thank you. You're welcome. I like this bunch. Uh, what was your name again? If you don't mind. Oh yeah, asking. sorry. It's um, it's Scooter Brown. Scooter Brown. Okay, Mr. Yeah. Brown. Like I said, I'm gonna look over your report real quick and uh, and see if there was one made. And we'll, like I said, we'll get it all handled. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate y'all very much. Okay. What am I looking at here? Sorry, I was dealing with Filbert and his fucking right works. shoulder. He's got a through and through. Okay. Uh, it's there's some dried blood. It's very heavily bruised, as you would expect. Um, but I have not cleaned it out. I was just gonna let you do all that i didn't want to yeah i don't know why people I shy a plant. shy away from good med rp like Jesus Christ. 
Got to give the med team some good med RP. Okay. Uh, it looks oh. like there wasn't a um a report done on this. You said your Where name is Scooter Brown, right? Where did yeah. you steal that from? I know. I know they didn't. Uh, when I went to Ansburg, they said that they didn't do one for the the wolf bite by the looks of it. But she said she was making me a, a record when I was up in Ansburg. Is your first name Richard? Uh, it is not Scooter. S C double O T E R. Okay. I don't know how to spell. I'm just gonna really quickly check and see if you're in the uh, citizen registry real quick. Uh, Scooter Ulysses Brown? That's me, yes yeah, sir. Okay, alright, well, you are in the citizen registry, but you do not have a photo. Um, if, at, once you're treated, uh, would you mind, um, you know, getting a picture taken so we could put it in your citizen registry? I mean, that, uh, yeah, they steal your soul though, don't they, just a little bit every time? Yeah, they do. No, yeah, no, they, they don't, do. sir. Oh, okay. No, I promise you they don't. It's okay, like yeah. spoons. If you eat anything with a spoon, it's of the devil. Is that man okay? Robert, I got a gift for you. Uh, I'm I'm okay right now, folks. No, he's it. not. Okay, I thought I was crazy, but I got a couple of eggs short of a dozen. Well, I'm I'm gonna give you a kiss, Robert. Hold on. <laughs> Please don't kiss there me. There you go. Hey, watch out! He's planting something on the deck. Watch out there. Could be evidence. What? I'm telling the law right now. Where did you get this, Filbert? He stole it from the law office. Office. I I'm pretty didn't sure. Didn't steal anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I stole your forks. So. <gasps> what? Why would you do that? Um, dear, I'm gonna go ahead and about... get his uh, get this report started because Excuse they didn't me. do one for his uh through and through Ooh. Ooh. you know i spent about four hours yesterday uh, trying to get my materials together for my wagon i got bit by oh i got bit by a cougar a wolf a bear and then got shot and all i got was one goddamn nugget are you trying to gold pan? Uh, yeah, I got to get um, some gold together for my wagon. You know, all the fancy embroidery and such. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start doing uh, wagon tours around Monroe, you know, cause on account of being a local celebrity. Okay. Um, and you're trying to gold pan up in Ansburg? No, I was, I was up in uh, uh, going towards the Grizzlies to search for uh, ram hides. Hmm. Okay. Well, I could tell you some better spots to gold pan if you want gold pan where a cougar, bear, lions, oh my, are not going to eat you. I mean, that, that, that'll cougars? be good because um, I seem There's to have cougars. a I seem gotta to go. have something against me up that way. But I, I seem to remember. I thought they, I, there was rams up in the mountain, but I couldn't see any of them yesterday. Uh, they're few and far between. Ooh. Mm. I need 30 of the damn okay. things. How are you with pain? Before I stitch you, do you need a leather strap or would you like for me to put you out in order to do the stitching? Um, I, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I'm 67, so I'm usually in a fair amount of pain anyway, just by on account of existing. I, I should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, just... ain't nobody hit me in the head, mister. Why don't you keep on walking? I'm trying to treat someone. Uh real quick, can I have oh, well, your uh can I have your left hand so I could just check your vitals real quick for please, sir? Of course you can. There you are, sir. You don't make threats against my friend, mister. Come here. Where'd he He's gonna go beat up that local. Oh.
Well, I'll tell you this, fella, you got a real strong and steady pulse. It's, it's all the meat and, and moonshine over the years. It gives you a strong heart. Mm. Also, you know, I, having seven ex-wives, that'll put you through the ringer. God, you sound like uh, Filbert back there. Hey, hey, he's not older than me, is he? That's why I'm a celebrity, you see? I'm still being alive. I'm just a, a sucker for love. That's my problem. Well, Filbert has seven ex-wives and 17 children. Jesus. Wait, hang on. 17 children or 17 children? 17. One, seven. 17 oh, children. Jesus. I have 17 children. See? I, I have just the one son that I'm aware of. I can't imagine having 17. Oh, that's, that's nice. Glad to, glad to hear you. Spread your seed. You got, you definitely got good birthing angles. Whoa. I, don't think I, I mean, I do spread my seed, but mainly it's just potatoes. Oh, nice. I like potatoes. You can eat potatoes with a fork. Yep, or you can use a fork or a spoon. I, I used a ladle once. Spoons are of the devil. What's your problem with, with spoons? They're good for soup and uh, liquids? No. No, hey. you got to eat all your liquids in your soup with a fork. Mr. Brown, you said your wolf white was on your right thigh, right? That's right. Yes, sir. Kind of towards the top. I lost my throwing, my, my throwing cleaver. All right, as soon as you're done with that, dear, I will finish the report on this. I just want to check those bandages on his leg. I have to say, you, you two are real cute. It's nice seeing a, a couple working together without biting each other's heads off. Matching their outfits, so cute. We, uh, we try to, well, we spend a lot of time together, so we, uh... Aww. When, uh, when she's getting on my nerves, I go one way and, you know, vice versa. If she gets on my nerves, she goes the other. We just, when we can tell we get on each other's nerves, we go the, we go separate ways for a little bit until we cool off. Well, that, that warms my heart. You see, good, good communication, that's the key to uh, longevity. Mm -hmm. We, um... All right. Are you finishing this up? He's sutured and wrapped, and now you can check his other... Whatever you were doing, I don't remember. Oh. His wolf bite. Uh, when was the last time you had your rabies shot, Mr. Brown? Uh, honestly, I don't know. If, if they didn't get me one yesterday, I mean, it would have been years ago, but uh, I'm not sure what they, they gave they me would. yesterday. Mm. Dude, I, this is why I wish people would do a freaking report so we can know. I, I must admit, I don't think they did. I, I was kind of in and out of it a little bit. I think they just sutured bandage. They gave me a, a couple of pills um, for pain, I think. Um, they didn't give you a shot at all? Not that, that I can remember, no, sure. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, um, what's your opinion, dear? I'm going to go draw it up right now real quick. Okay. All right. Let's look at this um, wolf bite. Um... Can you uh, roll your pant leg up that far, or how you want to do it, fella? Yeah, I tell you what, I can just unloosen the buttons on the side here, open up okay, the, the flap. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. How do you spell dungarees? I'm going to go with that. <laughs> oh, it's a little tender. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I uh, actually two nights ago I got bit by a wolf um, on my uh, on my shoulder, so I, I know about the tenderness. I wasn't able to pull my bow back for a while. All right, I'm just gonna carefully look at the bandages and examine them, and then you know if they look like they need to be changed, I'm gonna I'm gonna take them off as carefully as I as I possibly can. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you.
Let's see here. Okay, so they don't look too bad. I can I can go ahead and change them for you if you wish, but it's totally up to you. I mean, um, yeah, may, may as well, just so then I got, okay. you know, a fresh start. I've been sleeping yep. on it all night, so probably not a bad idea. Okay. All right. Like I said, I'm going to carefully, I'm going to take them off as carefully as I possibly can. I know it's, I know it's tender. Okay. Okay. I'll be strong. I know. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm trying to be as careful as I possibly can. <laughs> like I said, I know it is tender and it hurts. All right. Ooh. I'm going. I'm going to strap myself by asking your your lovely lady here uh, and you actually them them bows mm -hmm. you got. I like to hunt with a bow a lot. That looks like a very nice bow. Uh, it's actually an improved bow. One you more. Uh, it's. You can't buy it from the catalog in the uh, gun store. Um, you actually have to uh, get it from like a gunsmith. Okay. Howdy, Hank. Okay. I'll see if Mr. Freetog up in Ansburg's got one. Right, of them locos don't fucking shoot me again. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm gonna discomfort you a little bit more. So I'm gonna pre-warn you the saline that I'm gonna. I'm gonna put on this is gonna be a little cold along with herbal salt, okay? Okay. It's it. I, it's just gonna be cold. You it it. It's just gonna. It's, it's just like pouring cold water on you. That's all it is. Okay. 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 I swear I'm usually fine, but three damn animal attacks on a gunshot. I'm I'm a little tired. You sound about like me. I got two two um. See, let's see. I got bit by a wolf, attacked by a cougar, and then I got shot by a local. Okay, Jesus Christ. Add in a, a, a minor bear mauling, and we've had the exact same day. <laughs> now I saved his life from the bear maul. Well, ain't that sweet. You two been uh, together long? <sighs> yeah. Oh, that, that's the sigh of a tired man. Yeah, I'm ready. Are, are you ready? Okay. Like I said, I'm going to do as carefully as I can, okay? Okay. Mmm. S-C-O-O-T-E-R-B-R-O-W-N, Scooter Brown. <laughs> I told you it was cold, didn't I? Okay, yes, yeah, it's chilly. <laughs> I, listen. Nobody ever tells me when it's cold, okay? I appreciate the warning. Thank you. I try to tell everybody it's going to be cold. All right. Ooh. Let's get this wrapped up and you're going to be you're going to be good to go, okay? Oh, thank you. Yeah, well. I just kind of fell uh I got the train from Valentine to the parlor house here and just uh well, just fell asleep. So I I'm, I'm glad you all are here this morning. Hey games and giggery. Welcome in. Oh, King, okay. such a bad day. Okay. You can go ahead and button up your uh, dungarees and uh, just have a few more questions and then you'll be good to go, okay, Mr. Brown? Uh, no, he's getting a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's your needle right, so, thing, uh, ain't I'm it? Gonna, uh, yeah, I'm okay. going to need you to go ahead and undo that left buckle on your uh, dungarees there. And I. Uh, Oh, I'm going to need the... You, it's a belly shot. Okay, not my ass. Okay. <laughs> it's no. not your ass. It's a belly shot. Now, I'm going to forewarn you. It's going to hurt. I uh, just got one yesterday. I mean, uh, it's got a long way to go through this gut. Maybe it'll be okay. I promise you, sir. It's going to hurt, okay? I'm just forewarning you now. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, you ready? No, but uh, I guess so. I have to sing my song again. It's C W O T E R A R O W N. Two. Oh, 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 okay, goddamn. 
Okay, it's C double O T E R. B R O W N. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I, 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 I told you. Okay. I told you. How is that worse than a wolf bite? God damn. I don't know. I don't know. I okay. Don't know. At least I ain't gonna turn right. into a dog now, right? That's how that works. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you won't necessarily turn into a dog, but you would be rabid. So that's what we're trying to prevent. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay. You know, All I right, think I, I might I might take up embroidery now instead. <laughs> you can uh, you can go ahead and uh, get yourself all buttoned up, and uh, like I said, when you're uh, ready, we'll uh, have a few more questions for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Hank. Hey there, Robert. Oh, let's Where'd Filbert go? You know, he said something about that man talking shit to you, and he followed him. So, I, I don't know. All right. Mr. Filbert? Mr. Filbert. Mr. Mr. Brown, I'm sorry. Filbert's on my mind because I'm worried about it. Oh, it's okay. All right. On a scale of one to ten, one being, you know, it's okay, ten being the worst pain in your life, what are you in right now? Uh, I mean, um, uh, ignoring the running pain through my stomach from the jab, maybe may about six and a half. Okay. Would you like something for the pain? I mean, uh, I'll be okay. I had a little something yesterday. I'm always at about a five, so it ain't too bad. Uh, would you like a motor joint to try to ease some of that pain? I mean, that's a smoking thing, ain't it? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always, I don't mind a smoke. That'd be good. Okay. Um, do you know the signs of infection? Oh shit! Yeah, they told me this um yesterday. Uh, sh okay. stinky wounds, seeping wounds, green mm -hmm. stuff, uh, mm -hmm. infl inflammation around the wound. Yep. I think that's yep. what I remember. Okay, okay, yeah. It's typically redness, swelling, anything oozing, any foul smelling. If it doesn't look right or feel right, then you know, obviously, um, come see a doctor immediately. Okay. I love these guys. These guys are great. Um, and I believe that is it. Um, the only thing that we have left is to take your beautiful picture, and then you will be good to go, Mr. Brown. Okay. Oh, let me uh, actually let me give you this. Let me get my camera. Hey, look at that! I still got bear claws in my damn pockets. <laughs> I ain't even, I ain't managed to get to a butcher yet. I've been getting beat up so bad. Okay. Well, like I said, you should be all good to go. We just got to get your picture. And then you will be good to go, my friend. Like I said, if you notice oh. anything. If you notice anything about uh, any of your, uh, you know, your stitchings or anything like that, just please come back and see us, okay? Yeah, I appreciate you. All, you all been too kind to me. Oh, you want me to look towards you, ma'am? I might be. I take. Yeah, actually. I take my hat off. You see my pretty face. Pretty good, right now. <laughs> you know. Now you can say you, you got a picture of local celebrity Scooter Brown. Well, everybody in the medical office will be able to see that beautiful mug of yours. Yeah. Usually I, I autograph them, but you know I'll, I won't do it this time. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else we can help you with, Mr. Brown? No, I think I'm, I think I'm all good to go. I might just go have a, a lazy day, I think. Okay. And thank you. Thank you so much to the pair of you. I owe you a drink or something. I'll catch you in the saloon. Okay. Sounds fair. All right. All right you Mr. two, Brown, uh, stay you enjoy safe. your day and stay away from those cougars unless they're uh, the two-legged kind, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> thank you both so much. Have a good night. You uh, Have a great day. Um, do you want to do part of the report on? Ah, oh, they were great. They were great. You see what I mean, chat? There's like nuggets of really good role players on Raj. Just gonna try and find them all. Is that a big pile of poo? Oh no, it's just rubbish. Oh, hey everyone that came in on the raid. Uh, welcome into my. No, that's a. Um, 
I think he'd been pecked to death. Uh, welcome everyone that's coming from the raid. Um, congratulations on finding my secret secondary channel, <laughs> which apparently is not so secret anymore. Uh, but I'm Jay. Uh, I'm a professional voice actor by trade, and I play Scooter Brown and Obadiah Colt here on this channel. Or there's my main channel, which is just forward slash Jay Britain, where we do a bunch of variety stuff. But this here is my uh, dedicated roleplay channel. Hello, Yuna. How are you? I should get my gherkin. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I want to get gherkin some proper tack now. Um, I got five bucks on me. So I think, I think I need about at least 20 bucks, I think. I should go put my box down here. Uh... There you go. Let's go get some money. I don't, I'm not quite sure how much money Scooter's got left, actually. Let's hope nobody steals my box. Although there was a free box, wasn't there, out in the Grizzlies? Spreading democracy. Enjoy a nice Luckily. cup of liberty. Poke my head. Okay, I don't think the gunsmith is in at the minute. I must admit, I've bounced out of Helldivers quite quickly. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm just so uh, busy at the moment. I haven't had time, really. I haven't, like, I haven't done any gaming other than streaming. All right, we got 49 bucks. Let's withdraw. All right, we're going to have to take... We might have to go do some fishing chat. Scooter's funds are looking pretty damn low now. Um, also chat can someone help me and remind me in about an hour and 40 minutes and just say Jay stop streaming <laughs> I gotta go swimming I go for a Sunday afternoon swim chat which I'm quite excited about I don't usually go swimming at the weekends and it means the pool will either be busy or quiet and I can't, I can't decide what it's going to be like, do we think most uh, many people will want to go lane swimming on a um, Sunday afternoon? Uh, actually, let's just... Mm. You think it will be busy? God damn it. All right, let's see if we can get this to work. All right, so what you do is you do Gherkin. Tag. Oh, they fixed it. Oh, holy shit. Okay. They fixed it, chat. Nice. I didn't realize they'd fixed this. Very cool. Okay, let's take the saddle off. And the saddlebags off. And the bedroll off. Trying to see which I want. To, I kind of want a wolf pelt, or maybe a cougar pelt, or maybe just quite a nice simple one. I think that's quite nice. Oh my god, that one's fifty bucks. Wait, why is all of this so expensive? So confused. Okay, that's the cheap one I've got. Damn. Fucking hell, these are expensive. Hang on, I might just cancel out of this. I'm so glad they fixed it, though. That's very cool. Okay, so that's what I've currently got. To be honest, all I really want to do, actually, is just change the saddlebags to match a little better. Alright, so we're at $13 now. Okay, so as long as we stick with saddle one. What do we think? Is that a cougar pelt chat? I think that's a cougar pelt, isn't it? Think blanket. 
Just because just because Scooter has killed a fair few cougars now. Yeah, okay, they're all pretty expensive. I like the idea of having him having a cougar pelt. That's quite nice. Uh, we've got a bedroll on. We don't need any accessories. Saddle's fine. Saddle horn's fine. So let's get that. But then I also want to customize. I always like having my... Uh, tails braided. Just because... Um... It makes them so easy to spot amongst everybody. Because not a lot of people have them braided. Oh, look at it. We can give our, our mule a proper fucking mane chat. I love it. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, I quite like 11. Fifteen's quite nice too, though. Okay, 11 is 15. No, I think I preferred. Yeah, I like that. There you go. Yeah, let's retrieve him again. Do you think we share any ex-wives? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Scooter skinned the ex-wives. Yeah, she did. All right, hang on, we got it. My horse is not near. You lie, it's right there. Like, I know we didn't, we didn't like Gherkin initially, but now I think Gherkin might be quite cute. As long as Scooter isn't riding a horse, it's fine. There we go, there's our, there's our Gherkin. Oh, what a lovely little bit of med RP to start the day. This is my box still, right? Yes. Hey, come back here, you dumb son of a bitch. Come on, Gherkin. Should get Gherkin some uh, some horseshoes, actually. Uh, I don't want to sell all this game meat, though. We've got to cook some of it. Scooter's going to get a little hungry. Yeah, there we go. That suits Scooter nicely now. an eye out for a gunsmith. Although that said, I don't think we got much money for a gunsmith now. I think the I think the improved bow is about 25, I want to say. I say we can't cook up a little meat here. All right, what do we got? Oh my God, look, we got, we got 13 big game meat. What animals have you been after, Scooter? Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, man above, how you doing? Yeah, that was some lovely med RP. That, that was that, that, that couple there. Um, Really good, really cool role players. It's the fun thing as well, like, like playing a character like scooter i was just i was gonna say this a second ago actually like you if you're gonna play a character like scooter who most of the time is a little bit big and silly you have to know when to dial it back like that was like that's not a scene to be scooter brown talking about you know slapping people with fishies and whatnot you know like that's a scene to just bring scooter down to somewhere a little bit more realistic and i, I love taking big comedy characters and slowing them down a little bit or speeding them up but yeah it was a lovely bit of med rp I always love doing med RP as well, just like to see what's written about the techniques. Down, down. Oh wait, man above, were you one of the players? 
Were you one of the medics? I had the, just had the pleasure of getting treated with. Match the energy in the scene. Yeah, very much Donkey Kong. Like, you, I do the same with Obi, right? Like, Obi can go comedy, but you, you, you need to... Like, when he was shouting with Rainier, right? You have to match the energy of the scene that you're in. And a lot of the time when people have big, crazy characters that they... They don't always dial them back. Like, they don't... They don't make them smaller for like if there's a like if you're a comedy character and you stumble into a dramatic scene fuck off <laughs> either dial dial yourself down to one or fuck off are you the male doctor man above you were great um and i hope i gave you some good med rp like i always i always feel bad for medical folks because like you want to do med rp and there's always a tendency of like that's fine i'll just walk it off no go and go and get med rp done Doom, 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 doom. Now I got to go find myself an improved bow. Right, what am I doing, chat? What was I going to do? I think we might go to our little gold panning spot out by Blackwater, but Scooter needs a... Ooh. Oh, no, too close. God damn it. Like, Scooter needs to chill the fuck out today because he's, he's so battered. All right, what do we got? We got so much stuff in here. Uh, We could... Uh, see, Scooter arguably can't really go and fish right now what shoulder was it he got shot in his his right shoulder uh i mean that's mainly just his reeling arm like he'll be pulling with his left arm hmm not sure if i can justify him going fishing maybe but he does he does need some money uh okay we got up my bow all right let's get the lasso set up you're just getting into the med rp thing oh nice yeah, it's a whole it's a whole different animal. Um, I've never done I've I've never done med RP like from from a doctor from the doctor's side of stuff. Um, but I you know I've, I've known people that have, and sometimes the degree to which they go into the history of it is really really interesting. Like finding out okay, well what how how would they have treated a gun gunshot wound in 1900, or how would they have treated a wolf bite? Um. Like, I love seeing authentic med RP where it's like, oh yeah, we use cat goat and we, uh, cat gut and we use this certain herb and all that kind of stuff. It's really interesting. Also, man above, solidarity for bad days. Like literally, I was on a scooter last night for a couple of hours and I was trying to go mining and trying to do gold panning and I was on for about four hours and I got one gold nugget because I rode out to the grizzlies got attacked by a cougar on the way then got attacked by wolves and downed and then when i role played out going back to get my hat i got attacked by a bear <laughs> and then when i got to ansburg i was trying to kill a cougar and one of the npc guards decided they were going to shoot scooter and i was like i think it's time to go to bed i think it's time to go to bed now i it's time to just go have a to have a lie down the universe says not today scooter Um, oh, I cooked that meat and then did, and then proceeded to not eat any. That's very smart, Jay. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm such a... I'm so dead. I cooked that meat and then sold it, didn't I? Fucking hell, Jay. <laughs> Wolf bite cougar and then the local shooting me. You're going to tell me it's an Amber Ansberg local now, aren't you? They're so weird, though, aren't they, man, above the, like, the locals? Because I've been in Ansberg before when the cougar is attached, like with my bow and arrow out and the guards have done nothing. And then yesterday, in almost exactly the same place in town, I took my bow and arrow out to shoot a cougar and they just absolutely mowed me down. Which was a little frustrating. I do wish... This little bug on the horse is frustrating. I think it only happens with the bow, though. I'm not sure. Basically, your bow, although you've got it equipped, disappears when you get on the horse and you have to keep getting off and on again. Yeah, we need to... I need to get some meat on the way back to Valentine now. We left for a call and I looked at my wife and told her, can we please go somewhere I don't get bit, scratch, clawed, or shot? All right, that rules out the bedroom. Uh, oh, hey. Have you been on ranch long, man above? I, I've done Red Dead roleplay for a, for a long time. Um, I used to be on a different server. 
Um, and then I've come to ranch. I had I had a big break from it, and then I've come to ranch. Oh god damn it! Just ever so slightly too close again. Uh, I've come to ranch. I don't know, maybe in the last three weeks or so. God, yeah, I feel that man above. I used to be on wild. I was on wild for about eight months. Uh, with my lore character and then left wild and kind of tried to get going on some other servers and then they, they like either closed or it just wasn't working for me and then I was like nah, I'm going to take a break interesting okay I'm going to have to take the walk style off um, just because you can't crouch with a walk style on you done mostly GTA RP how are you finding Red Dead? I've done some GTA... I started with Red Dead. And then weirdly, I could not get into GTA RP. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the modern setting or it's a little bit faster paced. Right, I was on no pixel for a tiny bit of time. And I was just like, meh, it's not doing anything for me. Don't you get up again, you son of a bitch. Hey, Gherkin, get your ass over here. Uh, let's go uh, see what we got. Oh, look at that. Scooter Brown, two for two. Can be slow. Yeah, honestly, like... The, the slower paced nature of like slow burn RP is so good. Like the slower the burn, the bigger the the bigger the fire. Right. I think a lot of a lot of bad role players are usually just people who aren't very good at keeping it in their pants. I think they're just over there, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, Gherkin, let's shum. I'm happy they're just doing med RP with the wife. Is, um, if it's not too personal a question, is she, is she your real life uh, partner as well? Oh, god damn. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, my partner RPs as well. Uh, we're not on the same server anymore, but we, we used to RP together a lot. And it's always very nice. Because then you get to come out of RP and be like, oh, look at that scene and this person. And yeah, it's very cool. Married for 17 years. I fucking love that. That's very cool. Uh, but my partner's a voice actor as well, so it's it's great to, to go into... Like, we don't get to work together often, so getting to go into RP together is very cool. I think they're just... Can't tell if it's just some white flowers or if it's the white fleck of dough. No, I think they've legged it. I need some meat and I need some money. Yeah, no worries. And, and thank you to you, man above. I literally said on stream while we were role playing, I was like, oh, these guys are great. There you are, you little son of a bitch. And I always feel for medical players because I know you just get a lot of shit a lot of the time or people that just want to come in and just go, yeah, just give me a pill and thanks, bye. But sir, your leg is falling off. Yeah, no, no, I'll be fine. Oh, you little son of a bitch. All the time, yeah. But I'm like, like the fun is... Uh, I know you're going to go lurk, but I will say it's like, for me, the fun is where will that RP take me? Like if I'm now playing scooter where he can't go and fish or, you know, he can't really walk very fast. Like that opens up RP. It doesn't shut down RP. I think a lot of the time people see taking an injury as losing and like win lose mentality in RP is so unhealthy. Like, okay, cool. Now I might need to, you know, if I really injure myself, I might need to ask somebody for a lift to take me places because I can't ride properly and all that kind of stuff. But I think they're like, oh, I'm injured. I've lost. I can't run around now and be the baddest gunslinger there ever was. It's like, yeah, no. 
Are you here to roleplay or are you here to play a video game? Because it's not the same thing. All right, Scooter, let's get you into mail time. Hmm. Well, chat, this has cost us a lot of money. Yeah, absolutely, man above. Yeah. Like, I played law for a long time, and you see a lot of it there as well. From both sides, to be honest. You see a lot of people who join law, and they just want the badge and the power and blah, blah, blah. And you get sort of something similar from the criminal side, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, go enjoy your look, buddy. Thank you very much for the scene. And uh, do thank your, uh, your partner as well. That was my first interaction of the day. It was very good. So thank you, buddy. Did Scooter lose his pump action? No, we've still got, we've got the pump. <laughs> we've still got the pump. Not that it saved me from those goddamn wolves, though. I wanted to be saved from the goddamn wolves, but my pump did not pump. Yeah, I'm going to miss... I might I might be able to get a stream in Friday next week. I'm not sure what time we're going to be back from the BAFTAs. But I think I'll probably roleplay OB on Tuesday. Thing is, people ask criminals to try and make the chases and stuff interesting. Um, but ask us to do it by not buying the best horses, only for the law to have the best horses. Yeah, and Corey, that's like, I'll, I'll be blunt. I, I haven't been impressed with law. Um, to be fair, I haven't had any criminal inter... I've had one criminal interaction, actually, and that, and that was great. But, like, having played law before for a long time, uh, I've, I'm, I'm feeling quite frustrated with what I've seen from law so far. Um, yeah. And the thing is, right, you can do that. Like, law can have the best horses. Let's just say, for argument's sake, law, you know, that's a by the by, right? Law can have the best horses. Then don't ride them as fast. Do you know what I mean? If you want a fast horse, because, okay, yeah, it's better for law so that they can, uh, I don't know, get to scenes quicker to facilitate roleplay. Cool, great, fine. But in a chase, ride them a bit slower. <laughs> like Corey, I was saying this um, the other day. Like I, there was a cannibal I was tailing. Um, like I, I will, as law, I will purposefully let people get away. <gasps> Mrs. Above it all, I'm guessing you're um, uh, Mrs. Doctor from the other scene. Thank you so much for the great RP and thank you for coming and saying uh, hello. That was a lovely scene to start my day with. Ba down, ba down, ba down. Running around on a Kentucky Saddler versus a Fox Trotter and a Roadster. But th that's the thing I mean, though, like, Corey, like, the, the actual type of horse doesn't matter, right? Um, oh, yeah, I think it's like you can't do it within city limits, isn't it? Like, law could just not ride them as fast, right? The horse breed is kind of irrelevant to whether or not law let themselves catch you, and that's all in the role play. Like, if I'm... If I'm um, I am Lady Doctor Trinity. Thank you so much, Trinity. That was some lovely role play. I like that very much. Also, you've both given me an RP reason now to go and get the improved bow, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> um, like, yeah, like, let's say I was chasing a criminal. Like, I'm purposefully, I might have my lasso out. I'm purposely going to miss, right? Because as a criminal, it's exciting to see a lasso come close and miss you. So you get to feel like you're really, you know, escaping from the law. Like, that's where the fun is, man. Like, win-lose mentality has no place in good roleplay. It's all about the story. There we go. Right, somebody remind me to actually eat this food instead of accidentally go and sell it. Uh, how hungry? Okay, we're pretty hungry. That's probably going to end up eating all of this. Got an Instagram message? Oh no. <laughs> I don't use Instagram at all, chat, so I always get slightly dubious when I get a when I get a message about Instagram. What am I doing? Uh sit on ground. 
There we go. Shit by the fire. Call over my gherkin and eat some meat. Such a shame, like, some animations will cancel out your... You're sitting. I had the nicest bacon sandwich this morning, chat. Like, you don't even understand. All right, here's how to make perfect bacon sandwich. You ready? Smoked back bacon. Okay. I'm a loser, though. I cut all the fat off my bacon. But smoked back bacon. Two slices of lightly toasted tiger bread. Lashing, lashings of butter. A uh, slice of Port Salut cheese. And then a squirt of ketchup. Mm. One bacon sani. Delicious. I, the tiger bread with that little bit of punchy flavor. Slightly toasted, so it's got that little bit of crunch. Unless you've got like fresh tiger loaf, in which case you don't have to worry about it. But, you know, if it's just shop bought tiger loaf, just give it a little toast. So it's got a little crunch on the crust. Mmm. Nice port salut cheese for a nice little creamy cheddar taste. Oh. <laughs> Barbecue, not ketchup, then yes. No squeak. I said what I said. All right? I said what I said. But fine, I will allow you the condiment of your choice. Howdy. Howdy, fella. Okay, I don't think I need any of this, really. Okay. Bread made from tigers, that's true. Uh, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I've still got a little bit of cash on me. I might have to add the right leg in injury to a button. It's going to get a pain, keep pulling it on and off again. Bread made from tigers with giraffe pelts. That's one of them. You don't know what tiger bread is, you know? It's, I don't even know what it is, to be honest. I think it's just normal bread, but it has like an egg wash or something on it. So you get this kind of like giraffe pelt looking um, crust to it. And it just has this little zing on its taste. I know, right, Squeak? Like both my kids are lactose intolerant. Which means I've I've sort of tried a few vegan cheeses and it's like the one thing that they haven't they haven't got right, you know? Still can't beat proper cheese. Alright, so we got 40 bucks. Got a load of lures, a load of iron ore, one copper ore, some coal. Uh all right, let's chuck all of this in here. Okay, good. That does extend then. Uh, the gun oil can go in there. Campfire will keep. Shotgun shells will keep. Okay, that can go back on the horse. Sesame? Oh, okay. But it doesn't have, like, sesame seeds, does it? So is it, like, a... Like, an egg wash with, like, sesame, like, type flavoring in it or something? Wiki says rice paste. Huh. Fishing or panning? Yeah, I think if I'm going to be like super RP honest, Haggis, I don't think he's, his arm is in a state for fishing. Um, but we can certainly go and... Um, we might have to do a bit of fishing. I don't know. Depends, how, depends quite how close to the RP I want to get. But in theory, fishing is mainly his left arm. Well, let's go... Uh... I should go for a rad. Cathedral City do fairly good vegan cheese. Oh, I don't think I've tried that. Um, what is it? Um, oh, I can't think what it's called. The one I get my kids. Comes in like a slightly bluey gray packet. Vita Life? I want to say something like that. I had my suit fitting this morning, chat. I'm very happy with my BAFTA suit. Vita Life, that's it, yeah. It comes, you can get it like in the slice or a block or grated and stuff. That seems to be all right. Tastes like socks, yeah. <laughs> like as vegan cheeses go, I always feel like socks is about as good as it gets. Um, 
But I, well, I need to go on a mission to find... I think it's, it's Costello cheese is my favorite cheese. But I need to find out which cheese, which Costello cheese is my favorite cheese. Because the only Costello cheese I've had, and I've talked about this on the other stream, but the only Costello cheese I've ever had is the one that comes in HelloFresh that we make dinner with. But there is there is no thing you can buy from the shop that is the same kind of Costello that comes in our HelloFresh box. So I'm try I need to basically go to the shop, buy like six different Costello cheeses and figure out which is the one that is comes with our food shop. Ah, oh, thank you, Squeak. I will do. I think both my kids are sort of like they will grow out of it. Like my son has kind of got a bit better with it over time, but we'll see. Oh, I've lost my bow again. Here we go. That's really cool though that they fixed the stable bug to see your attack. That's cool. Yeah, I've gone for a slightly different suit this year. I'm, I'm kind of mixing styles a little bit between tuxedo and uh, standard suit. <gasps> Alright, let's go cinema mode. There you go. Hello, chat. It's me, Scooter Brown. Riding along. Going to get me some nuggies. I want you all to know that you are enough in this world. And if you can spread lightness and love and be a friend to those in need, well, you'll have a hooey day. Y'all are the best. occasional little upbeat track that appears i need to find some good vegan uh dairy free cheese and butter i'm still in morning the doc's any work no i mean i don't know what you have where you are emily but like i i tend to like i have flora butter for the kids which is pretty good um but i i there you get i'm sorry to break it to you but i still have never had a vegan cheese that is anywhere close to even the most basic bitch cheddar Sounds like we might have a lot of trouble trying to get Scooter his ram hides, though. I haven't seen any other than the couple outside Ansberg. Where? No, that way. Feisty horse. Let's go see what nuggies we can get. Oh, the fog is coming in. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the spot we like, isn't it? Yeah, here's the one. Alley hoop. <laughs> I 
A little more, a little more. A little more, a little more. A little more. There you go. Oh, I've still got... Oh, God, chat, I tell you this. When you look in your cup and you've still got coffee left, is it me or is that one just one of the little best dopamine things in the world? Oh, delicious. I had a bit of a break this weekend, food-wise, and I ate way too much yesterday, and now I'm sad with myself. And I'm trying to remember. I'm on a long process. And it's fine. I've got to remember that one weekend does not mean I ruin an entire week. Cold tea is so upsetting. I agree. I agree. Like I will cold coffee. I'm happy with workshop coffee. Let's see what I like to call it. I usually end up overeating because I underate before. Yeah, that's kind. Of, I I do have a habit of doing that, gems. Like I've eaten fuck all this week and then, then I went over the top like for example right I had 4,000 calories yesterday here's, here's, this has been my calorie count this week okay Monday uh, zero calories because I was fasting Tuesday 1200 calories Wednesday 1000 calories Thursday 1000 calories Friday 2500 Saturday, 4,000. <laughs> so um, at the moment, I'm probably going to come out this week averaging about 1,200 calories a day. Which is which is fair, to be honest. It's a big old deficit, but, but that takes into account having burned off a certain amount of calories exercising as well. So I'm, I'm eating more than 1,200. So net calories, that should be net calories. Uh, let me see. So this week, roughly, we're looking at 10,500 10 calories consumed and 2,000 calories burned in addition to maintenance calories. So about 8,500 calories net for the week. So I'll probably end up somewhere about 1,300 calories a day average this week. Which is probably about 700 calorie a day deficit. 7, 7 is 49. So that's probably about two pounds. I hate that I know that. I've become such a fucking nerd. <laughs> I've become such a nerd. <laughs> oh, it's just sheer stubbornness, Tyleon, to be honest. It's just being stubborn. Like, I want to get this fucking weight off, so I'm just being stubborn now. That's it. Like, the fact I had to get a new suit today is... that, that Like, that's good enough for now. God, this spot is so much better than where we were in the woods yesterday. All right. I've got about an hour left, chat, and then i got to go swimming. I got to go to the swim. Boom. Oh, look. It's a horny. Hello, horny. How are you? The, the really the annoying thing is... Like this is, I've become a little bit of an exercise asshole now. Is that I really want to go swimming tomorrow, but I can't because of my uh, the session I've got to go and do, and I'm annoyed at the session for existing and costing me a swim. I'm like, no, how dare you! I want to go swimming. Like I could go. So I've got time to go swimming, 
but it's a four hour session which means my voice needs to be in in good nick all right if i go swimming for an hour i'll dry out my throat and then i've got you know like a four hour dry uh the two and a half hour drive to the session and i'm like oh and it's late at night so i've got to be my voice will already be tired how dare you cost me a swim yeah exactly emily and that's you know that's where i get with it like it's easy i think to I don't know, that's one of the traps isn't it you know you have you have a i don't even want to say a bad weekend right you have a weekend where you indulge and the, the feeling is to throw it out the window but ultimately like losing this weight is going to take me at least six months right so the occasional weekend here and there over a period of six months is nothing because otherwise you just give up because it's too hard and one of the best things I ever did for losing weight was to let myself have time to do it I'll lose 50 pounds in two months no no you're not it's gonna probably take you a year to do it healthily like you think 52 pounds to lose that's a pound a week over the course of a year and one to two pounds a week weight loss is a healthy amount of weight loss so to lose what i wanted to lose to, to do it for a, a year is probably about right right emily <laughs> like i'm sat here like slightly scratching because i'm like <laughs> i want to go swimming i want to go swimming hurry up is it time to go swimming yet <laughs> and yeah gems i find that like if i go too far into calorie deficit like my body definitely slows down and that's a proven thing like the, the, there's a myth about starvation mode which is not true at all it's just bollocks but your metabolism will slightly slow down if you don't feed it enough right because your then body then doesn't have enough fuel to actually just keep the home fires burning as it were so I think the occasional bump of no it's okay body the food is still around you can keep eating the fat we're not suddenly stuck in the Alps somewhere oh Tyleon gone right sagging skin flaps again Oof. and also gems I think like the occasional calorie heavy day just to give your body something to do like really really push through the digestive system <laughs> down -ba -down. but either way uh, the pizza i had last night was delicious so i don't really care also chat i should say um not that i even have the command set up here but just because I know a lot of you have been enjoying this. Uh, if you go to... There are limited edition Scooter Brown and Obadiah Colt t-shirts and hoodies. Um, there are only 10 available. But just in case any of you want something with the artwork on. Ooh. My tummy rumbled with the fur with the hunger for the first time in ages. I see. I it sounds weird and I, it's probably well, is it healthy or not? I think so, at least for me. Is I started to train myself so that when I felt hungry, but wasn't actually hungry, you know? Does that make sense? I would just say that feeling of hunger, I'm like, that's my body eating the fat. That's what that feeling is. That feeling isn't go and eat. That feeling is my body eating the fat that's what it is and i would and sometimes actually out loud i would say to myself um like when my tummy rumbled i'd be like go and eat the fat there's plenty there if you're hungry go and eat the fat and then i'd like carry on with my day but it's funny like we we live in such an age of uh overindulgence and not not through any fault of our own really just through food engineering and social um engineering but like you know we live in an age of overeating of overindulgence and a lot of emotional overeating of which i'm guilty of as much as anybody i forgot how nice it feels 
to not feel bloated. Like now, if I overindulge, like I don't like how I feel today. I'm like, the food was nice, but I feel bloated. And because I'd got to a point where I wasn't bloated anymore, I'm like, oh, this is, this isn't very nice. Like I want to go swimming, right? To go to kind of flush this out because I'm like, I don't feel nice. But it's, most of us are pretty bloated all of the time now. That I forget what it feels like when you're like, oh, actually, I feel pretty clear, I suppose. That's what I was in the kitchen doing instead of watching Scooter's first couple of oopsies yesterday. How dare. How dare. That's such a bad day yesterday. <laughs> such a bad day yesterday. Like, I was as frustrated as Scooter was, but that's why we took him on the train at the end. I was like, he deserves a little treat. Yeah, exactly, Kirk. And, you know, I I could talk about this forever because I find it fascinating, but... Um, like, just food is such an interesting intersection of biology, psychology, you know, food companies, social engineering, culture, etc., etc., etc. Like, I, I find that just such a fascinating intersection of all these areas of, of existence, I guess. Um, but, you know, our body's evolution, like, so far behind where we are, like... Our bodies are not built for the ease of access to cal calorie dense foods. It's why we overeat because our bodies are still in an age where they're like, yeah, we, we eat a deer and then we might not get anything for three days. So you eat all of it. So all our body does when there is calorie rich food available is goes, I might not eat for three days. Eat that entire pizza. Eat that entire bag of Haribo. Eat that entire loaf of bread because it still thinks that we might not eat for a couple of days. And like, I'm, you know, there's a lot of power and understanding. And once you kind of get your head around, that's what your body is built for. You kind of know what you're up against. And then when you add in, you know, like, you know, things like Pringles and all that kind of stuff are literally engineered to give you a mouth orgasm. Like, it's why I hate, you know, um... People that just get, give thoughtless comments about overweight people because there is so, so there is so much to it, so much to it, and physiologically, you know, people react to these foods in different ways as well. Like, cool, you you're not addicted to Pringles. Great, good for you. Your biology doesn't respond in that way. That must be nice. Like, I'm lucky, right, that I could put on 52 pounds and outwardly not really look like I was, you know, very overweight, but I was. And I consider myself fortunate that mentally I've been able to get myself to a state where I, I bring that back down again and, and make various, you know, sensible choices and things. It's funny, like, I can see it now, like, now I've lost, like, 30 pounds or whatever. I can see the weight come off. But a lot of people, when I was like, oh, no, I put on a bit of weight, and they're like, no, you didn't, you don't look any different. And then when I give it a number, and I'm like, no, no, I put on 50 plus pounds. They're like, what? And I'm like, uh <laughs> But, you know, like, I'm six foot, fairly broad, fairly broad. And, you know, I hold myself upright so it does kind of, you know, disseminate quite nicely, I guess. The other thing, the other weird thing is now is because I've gone for, for a fairly long period of not indulging too much, I have found when I do indulge, it doesn't have the same effect. Like yesterday, I had a tube of Pringles and like a, you know, a, a fairly big-ish chocolate bar, I guess. And like, they were nice, but I could have easily not had them. Which is a very odd feeling to have. You're like, eh. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's like giving up alcohol and then you have the first glass of wine in six months, but you're just like, it's all right. 
it's a glass of wine, but you, there is no longer the attachment to it. There's no longer an emotional reaction to the, the substance. It's a very deep conversation. It's a very boring conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I just get nerdy about stuff. I'm sorry. I'll go back to being Skoda Brown. Oh, way. Holy shit, look, we've got 20 nuggets. Just been printed sat here, chat. This is a good spot. Ooh. And no bears, yeah. I will say one one last thing on the whole weight loss thing is so twice in my life now I have found that the one great thing about your body um, you know, and I know I'm not trying to be ableist here because there are obviously different variants and, and not everyone has the same physical capabilities and a lot of chronic illness and chronic injury and stuff like that. I, get, I totally get that, but to some extent at least your body is one of the few things you are in control of and t for me in my in my life twice in my life once when i when i was going through my divorce and the family separating and then and now this moment in time where work is a bit up and down life has been a bit hectic and crazy the one thing that is entirely within my control is food and exercise like i get to decide what i eat and what i do for exercise so it's nice to have something that you can anchor yourself with that 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 is within my control entirely you know even if it's to just a small extent like oh, lifting a weight or going on a five minute walk right that i can control and there's something nice and empowering in that and i think like that's a good switch for me to get me on board with it like yeah you know i can't control what book i what jobs i book or how many people sub to my Twitch channel or watch the Twitch channel. But I can control whether or not I go for a swim. And, I, and that gives me an outcome that I have some control over. And I find that really nice and empowering. Who recommended this spot? A guy called uh, Button, who we met up on the porch in Strawberry. He was a great character. He said he panned about two and a half thousand dollars worth of gold here. I was like, that'll do. But I could easily just sit here forever. I could sit here for hours and do this. Only because I've got you lot to chat to, though. If I didn't have you here, I'd be getting bored. And I will say, I hate admitting this, right? Because I don't like them to I don't like them to know that they're right. But the whole uh get some exercise and drink some water crowd. Uh, uh, right, it helps. And I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> who knew? Those those self-serving pricks who are like, yeah, just get some exercise and drink water. You'll feel better. I'm like, oh, go fuck off. And now I'm like, oh, they were right. Just make sure you get eight hours sleep, drink water, and get some exercise. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Right, Gems? That's the point. That's the problem, isn't it? Nobody who is unfit or overweight doesn't know what they should be doing. <laughs> oh, wait, you must. You mean I'm just supposed to eat less and move more? I didn't know this. This has solved all my problems. <laughs> Nobody is unaware. <laughs> the problem, as always, is in the doing. You were, on farmer, you, were, you were a farmer on ranch two a year ago. Nice. Until I became the blacksmith emerald. Lola, get out from under my feet. You nuisance. I once uttered the words in earshot of my husband. He was right and I felt better. Fuck off. Eats a packet of Jaffa cakes. I love Jaffa cakes. I love Jaffa cakes so much. Like, if they're here, I'll eat them. But I don't often buy Jaffa cakes. But I do like a Jaffa cake. They do feel like they shouldn't be... Have any calories in them, though. Because they're just so light and fluffy. Just get some sleep. I can buy that at the grocer, right? And like, I've started taking magnesium at night. And am I sleeping better? Yes. Yes, I am. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I try to go to bed at around the same time every night. Am
Oh, there we go, chap. A little internet blip, I think. Hello, gang. I don't know what that was. My Twitch just disconnected for a little bit. Uh, so you might want to refresh just to get back in sync with stream. I just fixed my computer so I can actually use my standing desk. Nice. Yeah. I'm kind of frustrated. Like my standing desk uh, that has the walk pad underneath is downstairs. Um, so I can only use it with my laptop. And of late, I've just had so much work to do on the main PC and the stream PC that I haven't been able to go on my walk pad, which is being frustrating how many nuggets are you doing 25 nice thank you for the follow kirkes and shebies don't want your main setup to have the standing desk it can't unfortunately gems because uh, the main setup is the one that's got all the elgato lights and cam lights and it's all like a built-in desk into the wall and pedestals and all that kind of stuff uh, i think somewhere how place how place I'm gonna grab it from the other the other channel. I'll drop a uh, link in. So this is a slightly outdated picture, but uh that's that's my stream setup. So as and all those all the monitors and stuff are wall mounted, so they can't move. So yes, I could I could arguably turn it into an adjustable you know standing desk sort of thing but it would mean de destroying my stream room <laughs> i mean normally it's fine it's just occasionally there's wheat like most of the stuff i do anyway i can do on the laptop but if it's stuff i have to do on the stream pc then I kind of need to be up here, but I go the remote desktop route, maybe. Like most weeks, if I'm just doing like admin and accounts and emails and stuff, I can do it on the laptop. But if I want to do like um, video editing, all that kind of stuff, I got to do it up here. More nuggets. Oh, hi, Luck. How was D&D last night, Luck? Anyone die? You got TPK yet? Oh, I'm out of coffee now, chat. The worst possible thing has happened. There's a chance I might be streaming again after swimming. I'm not sure. Because I've got D&D &D tonight and I might need to cook. Coke Zero time? Yes. That's the other thing, actually, that's helped me lose a lot of weight is Coke Zero. Um, but not for the reason you might expect. Pepsi? You're banned. You're banned. Have Scooter go for a swim? I read, so in my head, Scooter's a good swimmer. I don't know why I've just decided that. 
it's just because it tastes worse so you're drinking less coke no so drinking coke or drinking fizzy drinks sugary fizzy drinks were, has never been an issue for me like i've never you know i've never had like coke continuously in the house and drinking sugary drinks so that that was never an issue but what um coke zero has does do for me is a because it's carbonated it makes me feel full and because it's sweet if i want a sugar craving i can have a coke so it kind of makes me feel full and gives me a little sweet treat without the sweet bit so that's been really useful How we doing for nuggies? 32. This is a good spot. How about bubbly water? I hate bubbly water. Like with a passion. <laughs> don't, I don't know why. But like, that's what's weird, right? Water like a nice glass of just cold still water i i love it i'm lucky i'm lucky right for me to drink two liters of water a day is not a problem because i love a nice glass of cold water the second you add bubblies in it nope but yeah exactly that weirdly if i added like some sugar-free squash or something to it it would be okay again. There's something about it, the carbonated water literally tastes different and I don't like it. It's like orange juice with pulp. I don't know what ro is wrong with you freaks that like pulp in your orange juice. No, no gems. No, I'm not having it. Pulp in your orange juice is just wrong, okay? Please, please see a specialist of some kind. If you want the taste of orange with the feeling of pulp, eat an orange! <laughs> Just eat the orange. What's the point of it? Just eat the orange. No, oh, Jay, this is the relaxed channel. Shh. No, no. If you want pulp in your orange juice, you go right ahead. Be as fucking weird as you want. Yeah, I'm so, I'm always so disappointed at a, re a restaurant, usually like at a hotel. Um, I find hotels have a weirdly high proportion that have pulp in like the breakfast orange juice, right? Don't know why. I'm always disappointed when I get orange juice and it's got pulp and I'm like, Ugh. I need like a, I take, take like a travel sieve with me or something. <laughs> take a little travel sieve with me when I go away. Uh, I guess it's cheaper. Yeah, maybe. Like, my mum uh, strains her yogurt, chap. Okay. Wait, Yuna, are you telling me that you and I are aligned as far as orange juice and pulp goes, but not on Pepsi versus Coke? I don't understand. Somebody that can understand that pulp is wrong doesn't understand that, that Coke is infinitely superior. Weird. Hmm straining yogurt yeah my mum doesn't like the bits in yogurt so she strains the yogurt she likes the flavor of the one that has bits in it but doesn't like the bits so we'll then strain the yogurt my problem with fiber fiberless fruit juices is almost as unhealthy as sugary drinks drinks in terms of a blood sugar spike yeah i'm gonna that's that's an, an area of nutrition i don't know about like I know a lot of people talk about, you know, glycemic index and all that kind of stuff. I don't I don't know enough to 
comment on it, really. Just buy the yogurt without the bits. Yeah, but it doesn't taste the same, Squeak. <laughs> doesn't taste the same. But I'm, like... We, we, we talk about this a fair a fair bit on, on the normal channel, but, like, I'm not... I'm not particularly neurodivergent. I'm fairly neurotypical, but I definitely have my neuroses, right? And with food, I am I am quite a texture person when it comes to food. Like part of the reason I don't like orange juice with pulp is I don't like the texture. It's not a taste thing. I don't like the texture of pulp in the orange juice. I know, Mumbly. It's the internet, isn't it? I should just pretend that I have the facts. Well, like, all I've seen about glycemic index stuff is, like, just a lot of people talking about glycemic index and then a lot of people talking about why they're completely wrong. And most of the time, from what I can discern, it's like, look, if you're not diabetic or you don't have problems with your insulin, etc., 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 a, the glycemic spike from orange juice is fine. Your body has systems in place to deal with sugar spikes. That's what the whole fucking system is for. So don't fucking fear monger orange juice. Like, it's so much. And this is why I kind of like to talk about nutritional stuff a little bit. It's like there is so much bullshit and fear mongering, especially on TikTok. Like, if you believed half the stuff on TikTok, you would never eat anything ever. I've even seen some I've seen somebody on TikTok say that you shouldn't be drinking water. <laughs> I'm just like how? How? Hey average. Uh stream's going well, yeah. Thank you very well. We had some good med RP and now we're just chilling out getting some gold nuggets, trying to recoup our losses from yesterday. It's social media though. Yeah, but it's so terrifying though, because like social media isn't so much a problem in of itself the problem really lies in human reaction to social media and the, the the willingness to just believe at face value like that's the issue and it's because it taps into such a primal part of human psychology which is the need for acceptance and the need to feel part of a group that is so much about why social media works because if you have a pre-biased opinion that you don't like water for some reason and you find a TikTok that says you don't like like water is terrible and everyone in the comments is like I knew water was terrible it that just reinforces it all like that's more the issue with it like a TikTok talking bollocks in of itself it's not an issue right it's the way in which we're programmed some of us are programmed to react to it and don't don't question it in any way shape or form Which is weird because then you get the flip side of that, right? Where it works both ways, where people are like, just do your own research and you can tell that Trump won the election. Like, well, no, you've got the right idea, <laughs> but you've kind of gone in the different direction with it. <laughs> oh, no, you're not supposed to eat eggs, Luck. Have you not heard? You shouldn't eat eggs, but you should also eat eggs. Yeah. Yeah. You should both eat and not eat eggs. Uh, bread is terrible. Oatly, from what I can tell, is an evil organization and that we, sh we shouldn't eat oats. Oats are for horses. That's what I learned the other day. Um, cardio won't make your body lose weight because it gets used to it. Yeah. Like one of the one of the big things that one of the big biggest myths that I've seen, you know, especially in the weight loss space is people talking about this this mythical starvation mode that they say exists that if you go into a too heavy a calorie deficit your body will stop losing weight and it's like well, that's just patently not true it's just patently not true will it's will your metabolism slow down yes will the weight loss slow down and sort of plateau to some degree yes but if that was true nobody would ever die of hunger Prisoners of war wouldn't come out from camps rake thin, you know? Like, it's quite obvious if you don't eat, you will lose weight. Like, it's just such an absurd premise. And yet, 
you know, the comments and the stitches and the duets are full of people that are like, yeah, this is true. Big diet doesn't want you to know. Calorie deficits don't work. Like, calorie deficits have nothing to do with physiology, really. It's literally the laws of thermodynamics. It's a physics problem. Weight loss is a physics problem. There you go, I said it. Da, 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 da. So I made a big matcha latte with oat milk. Nice. Nice. But it's ridiculous. If I just stopped eating, would I lose weight? Yes. My body, my body wouldn't go into some magical starvation mode where it took me zero calories to keep my body functioning. But, that, but that's why social media is so fucking stupid. But like I say, it comes from this human need to to find solidarity and, and you know, it's why humans, as humans are still tribal. Like, people forget that. We're all still tribal. Human, the human psyche is still very tribal based. Like, the tribes might be different now. Uh, not as, you know, geo-specific. But there are political tribes, there are sports team tribes, there's, you know, gender ideology tribes, there's sexuality tribes. Like, we're all still it's a huge part of human psychology that is still very much, I must find my people. And the degree to which you go into that usually affects kind of your outlook on the world very, very heavily. You know, like, do I have my tribes? Yeah. But it's whether or not you're willing to look back at that tribe and be like, mm, yeah, but we're a bit stupid when it comes to this. And yeah, you know, and then let's not forget dropping in a healthy dose of, dose of capitalism. Don't eat eggs. If you want to find out why, go to my bio where there's a link to my 9.99 PDF that'll tell you why eggs are evil. Asterisk, this PDF is sponsored by the Anti-Egg Corporation 2019. Can't forget capitalism. Sponsored by Big Chickpea. <laughs> I did. I recorded my first cameo yesterday, and I literally finished it going capitalism. I see Big Egg got to me too. They did. Yeah. Yeah, find out in my OnlyFans if eggs are bad for you. <laughs> it's just videos of them shoving eggs up their ass. Yeah, it turns out eggs are bad for you if you use them as an anal suppository. Anyway, there we are, chat. We're, we're putting the world to, to rights on a Sunday afternoon. I kind of like it. Jay, yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Egg suppository. That sounds like some Gwyneth Paltrow shit. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, buy... Like, the idea, I forget what it was that her actual candle was, but wasn't it essentially buy this candle that smells like my vagina? Like... I, I don't want to live in that world, chat. But again... Again, again, let me be very clear about this, okay? The issue is not Gwyneth Paltrow selling a candle that smells like her vagina. Because if 100% of the human population went, Gwyneth, that's weird. We don't want a candle that smells like your vagina. We certainly don't want to spend money on a candle that smells like your vagina. That would have no, it would go nowhere, right? It's not her fault. It's ours. <laughs> for somebody going yeah i want a candle that smells like her vaginal it's just it, it's so weird we're at fault chat it's our fault okay and you can pretty much say that for every problem in the world more or less yeah important conversations while i pick out an outfit for my minecraft character what a sunday we ask the big questions here squeak we ask a big question here I'm looking forward to my swim chat. 50 minutes and I'll be in the pool, hopefully. Fueled by bacon sandwiches. 
How are we doing? 40 nuggies. That's good nuggies. Do you know, do you know what's weird, Squeak? Is this is this is gonna sound like such a pretentious thing to say. I love Minecraft. I wish it wasn't square. And that's me being such a graphic snob. Uh, do you swim at a gym? I, I don't know. I don't know, Gems. Uh, where are you, Gems? Are you are you Europe, America, UK? But why? I don't know, Squeak. I love the mechanics. I love the look and the feel and the crafting, etc. But there's something about it being square that just upsets my eyeballs. I bought it Friday and started playing yesterday. I have 12 and a half hours already. already. <laughs> it's rookie numbers. Uh, South Africa. Okay, so so in the UK, we have we have what we call leisure centers. Is generally what we refer to them as. Um, so, yes, it's a gym. Like, it has a gym, but it will also have a swimming pool and it has some rock climbing and it has, um, like, badminton courts and all that kind of stuff. So they're, like, just a center where you get all the different components. So it's not... A, it is a pool that the public can use if you're a member. Like, I just have a swimming membership, so I can't use the gym or anything like that. But it's kind of all those things, but in one place. Um, we do have like gyms where they are just gyms, but this is what we would call a leisure center where it has like a pool, a gym, some badminton courts or whatever, a sports hall. And yeah, I like Lego. I know that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, but no, that's not the same because you do get curved Lego pieces. So it's not quite the same. And yes, Panda, we have found 43 nuggies. I have a swimber ship. Exactly, not a jimba ship. But I don't know why. I like. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not um, uh, shaming anyone that enjoys the gym. I can certainly see the appeal of a gym, but I find gyms dull as fuck. Like, I, I get the appeal of like lifting weights. I think lifting weights more than like a treadmill, but yeah. same gems i'm like yeah i i i very glad they have a because i pay about i think it's about 20 i think it's about 24 pounds a month and i can swim as much as i like but like if you got like a full membership it's like 80 quid a month or something hi yukita a lot of early birds yeah hey we have a very chilled out sunday morning slash afternoon And I go swimming at least twice a week. So I think that would usually cost me about 60 quid a month if I paid for it. Like, not as a member. I think it's about £7 a session if you want to swim without a membership. Oh, that's a good idea, King. I like that. I like rowing, though. I like there's There are certain gym things I like. Like, I like rowing. Uh... In fact, that's probably it. <laughs> that's probably it. <laughs> Podcast while rowing. That's cool. Let me have a look. Let me, I'm going to have a look, actually. Let me have a quick look. Uh, I'm just going to see how much uh, a swim session is. Let's see. Timetables and prices. Swimming. Uh, adult swimming. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Lane swimming in the fast lane. Okay. Is £6.30 per session. So £12.60 a week. So 12 24 Yeah. 48 ish pounds so 50 something quid when you add in all the um 30 p's as well 50 something quid a month it would be to pay for each individual swim rootin tootin cowboy shooting hello fanboy booty blaster uh no tiny on 
<laughs> They're the same price per speed, I think. Swimming is expensive. Yeah, every, everything is expensive here now. It's insane. But like I say, I pay, I think I pay 28 pounds a month just to be a swim member and I can go as much as I like. So that's obviously much cheaper. That's like, that's half the price pretty much. So that makes it about £3.15 a session if you go twice a week. Obviously, the more times a week you go, the cheaper it gets. You had no you should have tea and food. Have a bacon, have a bacon sunny. My gym membership uh, with gym and swim is a hundred per month. <laughs> that makes me hurt. That makes me hurt. That's why I'm basically I'm glad I could get a swim only membership because I won't ever use the gym. So the idea of paying for something I'd never use um, would just make me so angry. Yeah, I can't complain too much about it. like it's a nice like it's a nice leisure center. The changing rooms are nice. The pool's nice. Um, it varies in terms of how busy it is, but I like that you can just go on the app, book a session, and that's it. Good to go. Swim for the fitness, gym for the MILFs. I mean, I've got zero interest in the MILFs, so that doesn't help me. God damn it. My gym hasn't realized they didn't adjust my student membership I've had for 10 years. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wonder, Jeb, there's got to be a stat somewhere about what percentage of gym memberships don't actually get used. How are we doing nuggies wise? 47. Okay, I want to get to at least 50. Which we should do. I've got about 20 minutes before I gotta go. And I might be I might be back after my swim chat. Like it might be for like a very, very short stream, but I might be back. Boom, doom, boom, doom. The, mo the most shocking thing for me when I signed up for the swim membership, right? Bear in mind, you do it all online and you just, you just fill out the form. You don't, they don't, you don't, you don't get a membership card or anything like that. You just download an app and log in and they have the audacity to charge you like a 60 pound admin fee. So I'm sorry, who is doing the admin? I'm putting in all my fucking details, setting up my bank account, downloading the app to get my membership card and booking shit. Who is doing 60 pounds worth of admin here? I am. Where's my payment? <laughs> boom, doom, boom, ba doom. Damn it. Like admin fees are the most, uh, just some of the biggest bullshit in the world. Oh, Melfis. It's one of the reasons I want to quest three so much. Like I want to get back into VR fitness because that was, that was where i i get most of like i mean swimming has cardio in it right but getting just like straight cardio doing be uh beat saber or pistol whip or something like that like, i love vr for exercise but yeah i adore swimming i'm such a water baby it's been great fun teaching my kids to swim especially my son because like because of the divorce and like the age he was like you know his mum struggled to take them swimming so he's only kind of just now really getting into swimming but seeing like the, the quick progress with him and uh, it's, it makes me very proud I want, my, I want my kids to be water babies like me mainly because i think of that kid in captain america who's like it's okay i can swim go after the bad guy that's a good child Lesbill's body combat? Oh, that's cool. Like, I don't know if I'll ever get... I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but I got into Hit in a big way. Well, I got super addicted to Hit. Like, that's that's when I ended up with a six-pack and cum gutters. Damn, damn, damn. But I'm not sure I've got any interest, really, in getting back to that kind of level. Like, that was, like, single-digit body fat levels.
and uh like beat saber with uh wrist weights on that's really good as well you can't tell us we're playing minecraft the vr treadmill every day unless something crazy like 20 kg since jan that's amazing yeah like what um what were they called oh god i can't remember now there's a there was a famous vr treadmill maker opt optimil something like that i'd love to get one of those cat vr yes that's the one i was thinking of it's like a little parabolic dish kind of one that's been around pretty much since the inception of vr treadmills uh box vr i really enjoyed as well i do enjoy box vr although like again it's got like weirdly social like i don't want to go on a boxing thing with like eight other muppets from around the uk just give me back the little one just in a gym on my own with the orbs coming at me <gasps> but yeah when i did when i got really into beat saber the definition that suddenly appeared on my biceps just from beat saber was it was insane it was so good I might have to get back into Beat Saber, I think. Oh, you should, Donkey. Beat Saber is so good. I got so I got really jealous of Millie this week because uh, Millie has a Quest One. She never uh, she never went to the Quest Two, and she was like, "I should look into getting the newer headset so I can get back into Beat Saber." And I was like, "If you buy a Quest Three, I'm gonna be the most jealous man in the world. Don't you dare! My partner can't have nice things." that are better than mine because <laughs> i was like look millie if you get a quest 3 i'm gonna try it and then i'm gonna want one and i already want one so don't do that to me pistol yeah pistol whip's great pistol whip's great good fun I think there's another one that's like is actually western themed but I, I i still get really shocked in, in in vr that there aren't more on rails experiences in vr because by far the biggest problem in vr is traversal has been since the beginning of vr and is still the biggest problem in vr is traversal like it's built for on rails which I think uh, Switchback VR is on rails. On rails causes motion sickness issues. See, that surprises me because I would have thought more motion sickness. I get more motion sickness feelings. I'm, I'm fortunate I don't struggle with it, but from the one thing that really throws me is free is free movement. By on rails, do you mean having your movement controlled by the game? Yeah, but think of it like, um, like just being on a roller coaster, right? So they would always be seated experiences. And I think this is what Switchback VR did. You are literally like in a train carriage, like a roller coaster. Like in that one, you are literally on rails. Like they, they wouldn't, they would fuck you up st standing up for sure. But like there would be, I'm, I'm just surprised there's not more seated experiences. there is a great um um oh god i always forget what it's called though oh it's it's not blade and sorcery it's um unspoken that is such a good game if you haven't tried it on vr it's basically wizard combat in an arena okay good right we got two people in chat who are making stuff in vr um why don't i have a decent orchestra game yet please thank you <laughs> I know there's one uh, one orchestra game called Maestro, but it's not it's not what you would want it to be. And I'm still waiting. Let me conduct an orchestra in VR, please. Thank you. Get back to me in like a week when you've built it. Cheers, appreciate it. <laughs> it's funny actually. One of my one of my uh, uh, good friends. 
in games. The producer I mentioned that uh, I bumped into at BAFTA last week uh, was the producer on Switchback VR and uh, Millie was the voice of the big baddie in, in Switchback VR. So when I bumped into him, he was like, we've got to get you playing Switchback VR. And I'm like, I know, I've got the PS5. I've got a key for the game. I just don't have the headset. <laughs> yeah, he's working at uh, Supermassive. How are we doing on Nuggies? 58. Uh, chat, honestly, by the way, do do you like this? Like, I feel like there's nothing happening on screen and we're just chatting shit and listening to vague country western music. The Unspoken is by Insomniac. Okay, that explains it. <clears throat> that explains it. Yeah, The Unspoken is so good because... Um, basically chat the unspoken is a battle arena i think each player has like three platforms they can teleport between um on their side of the arena and then literally you use your hands a bit like doctor strange right to draw shapes in the sky but you like summon a dragon or you summon a shield in front of your platform and then you like hurl fireballs and lightning bolts and all that kind of stuff at the um at the enemy it's really really good Scooter Brown panning for nuggies and having a chat and learning stuff about VR. It's all good. Okay. I was like, okay, is this just not really boring? Because there's not, there's no RP happening. Also, hello, Mr. Beckett. There, I'll just, I'm just fucking up Kai Argentum. And yeah, Kai, this is my super secret sh roleplay only channel. Because I wanted to do some more Red Dead roleplay without fucking up my partner channel. Do it, Amelia. Go sleep. Go and do sleep. I thought I had escaped that. It haunts my dreams. Excellent. Excellent. This makes me very happy. I got my BAFTA membership last year. This is the first time just like It's nice. It is nice, fanboy. You gonna be at the BAFTAs? Um, I hadn't been uh, to the BAFTA... Uh, I don't know. What, what do we call it? Clubhouse? <laughs> um, since since it had been renovated, I kind of prefer the old bar. I must admit, because the old bar had more space. But yeah, it's very nice. Treehouse. Okay, we'll go with treehouse. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're here in this channel, by the way, uh, this is my secondary Twitch channel. If you want to follow my main Twitch channel, that's that one there. I swear I will be uh, next Tuesday. Pendragon shenanigans and clip of the month. Clip of the month will be on Tuesday. Um, I think I will probably only be live from half six though, chat. All right, an hour of chat beforehand. Pure chat does tie me out, I must admit. And that way we'll be into the game a bit quicker from live as well. So what I'm going to do as well, once we've got this latest one. How goes the nuggets panning? We're doing good words. I think we've got like 60 nuggets now. There we go. We've got 87. So how much are the 500? Uh, well, the bad news is it's 750 is what we need, Canoe. And so far we have... Uh, 150 plus whatever I said we just got. So we got about 200 and something so far. 230, something like that. Boom, boom. And it's all be finished in June. Yeah. I don't mind. This facilitates the RP, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, on the main channel, we discuss noodles and other weird Americanisms. Doom 
I'll mention the noodles. It's too early. It is a bit early for getting irate about noodles. All right, chat. I must... In five minutes, we must stop panning. Somebody shout at me in five minutes. Otherwise, I'll miss my swimming. I'll finish panning in five. Then five minutes to go and ride to Blackwater. And then finish up. I get you in the car and go for my swim swam. How many did we have? I think we had like 80 something. So we got 70 nuggets to go to our second gold bar. two dollarinos from the state thank you sir you find nothing of value that feels like it needs to be alert an alert on these streams when anybody comes in that should be the follow alert <laughs> you find nothing of value <sighs> why do i feel like this we've just managed to dry this little patch of the river bit up we had a single nugget, so we had one nugget since we've come back. I want that on a shirt for sure. Didn't you say it's only a five minute drive to the swimming pool? Why don't you walk there? Uh, it's a 10 minute drive. And hey, how dare you try to insinuate I'm not doing enough? I'm doing plenty. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Boom. Also, Alec has started work on Obi's coat chat. I'm so excited. I don't know how far a walk is, though. Let's have a look. Let's see what the distance is in walking from my place to swimming. All right, it's 1.7 miles, but that will be as the crow flies. All right, it is... It's a 3.2 mile walk. Estimated to take an hour and 12 minutes. So that's why I don't walk to the swimming pool. I'm painting the Optimus dice today. Ah! Your dice is so fucking pretty, Yukina. so pretty like if the Optimus dice are coming out anything like sam's and millie's then i'm, a, I'm gonna be a happy man yeah that is a bit of a hike like i'd do it i'd happily walk an hour to to a swimming pool it's more that that means it's an extra two hours out of the day to do a swim. I don't have time for that. You got your ticket for the convention? <gasps> I won't pre-warn Sam that you're going to be there. I'm like, so Sam, you're going to meet this person. Just nod and smile and take the dice. All right, Sam. <laughs> Look, I've already been nice to you this week, Yukina. Okay, that's it. You've used up like six months worth of me being nice. I've been good once. I'm bringing tiny car like Albert to identify myself. That's cute. Yeah, but it'd, it'd be nice. To, it's going to be nice to hang out with Sam next week. Um, just so many other pals I haven't seen for years. I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I'll be honest. This, the whole ceremony part of it is, is almost of no interest. Like, it's it's kind of like, okay, we get the ceremony out of the way. Time to go swim. Thank you, words. And that was perfect because we just got, we just got one more nuggy. 
Like, it'll be like, it'll be nice to get the, um, the ceremony out of the way and then just go and chill out. Is that a herb as well? That is, okay. I'm here, Gherkin. Early hope. Oh, that's black current. Okay. Still got to find out what mint looks like in this game. I mean, given that it's Rockstar, I'd imagine it looks like mint, but... Oh, empty flask. Okay. Millie doesn't win. Look, gang, I'll be honest. We all want Millie to win, myself included. The chance is probably quite low because... To know that Millie has given a BAFTA winning performance, you have to have played so many hundreds of hours of that game and listened to a Dark Urge playthrough. And ultimately, you never know what the judges have actually listened to, etc., etc., etc. There we go. Let's go. It might not be anybody from Baldur's Gate, huh? That's that's the other option. There are other nominees. Oh gosh, show name Foggy. Oh, oh god, I can't see a thing. Hi, where's oh there it is. But yes, still gonna manifest the shit out of it. I know. <laughs> to some extent, I think Millie would rather not win. <laughs> not because she doesn't think it would be awesome. But because... It'd be like, oh, well, she, now she has to get up and give a speech. I was like, look, just, just, talk, just use your speech to tell everyone how amazing I am and then leave. Go with that. There we go, a little bit of meat on the way home. Tuck myself in with a steak. Just, just grab the trophy. Just say, yeah, this is like five years too late. All right, I'm fucking great. Jay, let's go. You're going for a Burger King. Oh, right, that's it. Neil doesn't need 20 awards. No comment. That's what we'll go with. No comment. Okay. Uh, I think we just need to put the nuggies on the horse. Bloop. Uh, keep all of that. Keep all of that. Keep all of that. Ellie hoop. Leap Kirkin. So weird when occasionally your character just starts turning around. Okay, good. This is open. Bam, 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 down, bam, down, bam, 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 bam. Oh, why are all the bedrooms in this server closed? I don't understand it. So weird. Why are they all closed? All right, we'll go. We'll go fall to sleep. Actually, yeah, I'll go sleep in the fun box. Uh, hello, ahoy, hoy. Well, now, ahoy, uh, hoy. Howdy, doody. And of course, welcome back to me, uh, Scooter Brown. Hello, everybody. Y'all ready to go? Okay, let's see what we can do today. We're gonna go get ourselves some nuggies with a bit of luck. Oh, look here. What you got on the floor? I'm going to read this detail. Hey, it's been freshly swept. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Do you need something to drink or eat? Well, I tell you what, I ain't ever going to be one to turn down an opportunity to buy a stew or some such. Uh, I'll see if we have some. Let me, let me put it this way. I got three bucks, 70 cents. So whatever you got that's good. All right, well, mm, let's see if Miss Alice made any more stew. Yeah. Also, hello to you gentlemen. You are dressed very well in your tails and top hat, sir. A little early for morning drinking, but okay, you do you. 
And you with your bowl of hat and uh -huh. cigarette. Very nice, too. I don't think we have any stew made at the moment, but another thing that's worth three bucks is a uh, cup of the fruit bunch. Well, why not? I should get some more fruits and vegetables in my diet. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I assume that's already with the local celebrity discount. Uh, I'm sorry? Well, you know, I didn't want to say anything, but it's me, Scooter Brown, local celebrity. I have no clue who you are. No, that can't be true. You must have lived a very sheltered life. It's Scooter Brown. I've come here from Tennessee not long ago. Oh, that'll be, that'll be why, son. Don't you worry. You'll learn about Scooter Brown soon enough. All right, well, that'd be three dollars. Three dollar Reno's, okay. I tell you what, I'll give you a, I'll give you an extra fifty cents so you can uh, telegram somebody and ask them about Scooter Brown. All right, sounds good. <laughs> you have I appreciate a, it. You have a, a hooey day, sir. I'm gonna go find myself some you nuggies. You have a lovely day. All right, you take it easy, fella. <laughs> Stay safe. Imagine not knowing who Scooter Brown is. What a fucking fool! <laughs> I will say, all right, I will say, it's so much more fun when they play into it. I fucking love it. I love it when people do just immediate like, oh my God, Scooter Brown? Morning, sir. Was that, is that who I think it was? Was that Milo? Let's go on. Let's get this fruit punch down me. <laughs> Ooh, hey. More. There we go. Oh, it's bubbly. That goes up my nostrils. <laughs> uh, oh, that's some good stuff. We got to uh, telegram my son. Oh, actually, I don't have any money now. I gave him too much money. You can telegram seven people now and find out who I am. How do I get rid of this frickin' champagne glass? Okay, it's an emo. There we go. We did. We sp we sparked. We uh, sparked up. We spruced up uh, Gherkin as well. We've renamed uh, Fake Pickle to Gherkin now. Look at you. You all so pretty. Look at you all pretty for the ready for the ball. Hello, mommy. How are you doing, mommy? Are you okay? My mother is long dead in the ground, but you are upright and on your footsies. That's a better way to be. Morning, sir. I love your coat. Very nice. Oh, just peachy. Me? I can't complain. I'm very good. I went for a swim and now I'm all spruced up. My muscles are all tingly. Alley hoop. Hello there, butcher man. Okay, I got some venison for you. I got some feathers. Uh, I got the, you want some bear claws too? Yeah, I got that. You want, okay. Yeah, I'll take it all. Thank you kindly, sir. I'll go telegram my man, my son. But no, I've had a, I've had a, I've had an annoyingly productive Sunday. I'm not sure that should be allowed, should it? Am I? Are you allowed to have productive Sundays? Like I got up this morning about, uh, I think half past eight. My alarm went off. I was up at Hopper's Day, out into town, showered and dressed for a half ten suit fitting. Back about um, midday-ish, I think it was, chat wasn't it? And then I went live, hit a stream, then I went swimming, got home, uh, bought insulin and syringes and cat litter, sorted out those deliveries, and then I've gone live again. And now I'm streaming, and then I'll finish up stream, and I'll go play D&D, D&D, D&D. 
see what my uh, barbarian's going to get up to. We're in combat this evening, so that should be fun. How is the suit fitting? Very good. Yeah. We got one sorted. I'm going to pick it up on Tuesday. Do, 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 do. Uh, TM3175. That's my boy. Where are we? Um, contacts. There we go. Hey, talk, man. <laughs> Did you get that fancy one? Oh, no. God, no. That was like some London tailors. This is just a moss bros. It's not, um, it's not anything fancy. Oh, that's weird. Why doesn't it put the... Huh. Oh, I didn't put in his telegram number? Weird. Okay. Uh, inbox. TM3175. TM3175. I don't feel like that's refreshed it successfully. No. Okay. Let's add a, just add a new one. T1, T3175. Oh, okay. Now it's in there. There we go. Weird. Uh, ma shun perfect you look pretty either way hello sales what do you mean again again what again that I'm live I'm sorry I'm sorry to disappoint you what is going on with this telegram fuck it tm 3175 what a day hello my boy <clears throat> I have to tell you, I've had a hell of a time. I picked up a pump action shotgun in Ainsburg and went off looking for rams. On the way there, I was attacked by a cougar then some wolves and one of them bit my damn leg a nice man took me to valima time and the docks patched me up i headed back to the forest to get my hat and was attacked by a bear <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I fought him off and got my hat. But when I got to Ansburg, there was a cheetah. I tried to shoot him with my bow, and I guess I must have scared the towns folk because one of the guards shot me through the shoulder what an exciting adventure i had but then it all came up scooter as i got to ride one of them new fangled steam trains what a day Hope you are well, my child. I will see you soon. Love, SB. Send a telegram. Invent. You're an invalid telegram number. 3175. There we go. We did it. We sent a telegram. Oh, we had a day. We had a day last night, Cavalk. <laughs> we had a day. It just never fucking stopped. Alright, Chad, then we'll just go and try and get some more nuggies. We were having good good luck with the nuggies this morning. Like we've almost got enough for another bar of nuggies, so I think we might try to get that sorted. I had a rough day. And yes, no stream tomorrow, uh, hentai, because I got a recording session in London, so I will not be around. Um, but then Tuesday, there'll be a Red Dead stream during the day. Then there'll be an episode of Pen Dragon in the evening of Tuesday. And then that's it for the week, unfortunately. How many times did I drop? It was just the two. 
because we managed to fight off the cougar and the bear, but the wolves and the gunshot got us. I missed it. I was watching Tom stream Elden Ring. Why? Why weren't you watching me? Weird way to tell me that you're cheating on me. Okay, cool. All right, fine. Yeah, we, we're pretty sure it was an NPC, Yukina. Yeah, they can get, like, some of the NPCs, especially in uh, Ansberg and... Oh, what's the other one? Van Horn. They get really um, crotchety. Should we go crotchety? Um, if you um, if you have weapons out and stuff. Because Elden Ring with you know, Yeah, but there was no J there. What's the point? Sort your life out. Yeah. Oh, yes, cat. Yes, yes. It wasn't like the little black bears. No, no. It was the big old grizzlies up in Okree's run. Imagine watching a stream that doesn't have Jay in it. It's like sex without an orgasm. Just pointless. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Such betrayal. Two shots to the face. Yeah, I think Scooter kept pumping. Just to make sure. Because he was coming straight at him. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. Has the water gone up here or something? I don't remember it being this bad. Okay. Hey. Okay. Uh, where's my gold pan? Oh, I got Xiaomi. Okay. Not sure when I'm going to get to start my, um, my Elden Ring playthrough. Fairly soon, I should think. I don't know how big of a game Pacific Drive is. But I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Pacific Drive going because we've got to have enough time, basically, to get an Elden Ring playthrough in before DLC. And that's end of June? What's my May looking like? I've got a lot on in May, but I don't think I've got a lot on that fucks with stream. Okay, so yeah, my Mondays in May are all clear. Oh, fucking hell, we, we might have to... Because I've got... I have one Monday stream left in April for Pacific Drive. Hmm. Because Elden Ring's a big old fucking game. Oh, I smell a swimming pool chat. I love it. Oh. I know a lot of people don't like the smell of a swimming pool, but I like it very much. And it reminds me that I've exercised and I spend the rest of the day feeling very smug. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. I'm so excited to go away this week. I'm so excited. My dad hates it, that smell, but he's a miserable asshole, so. And I got my nice little sleepy endorphins now. <laughs> To know that four nuggets already. This is such a great spot. I was saying this in this morning stream, Hentai, that I'm not, we're not, neither of us, right, are really that bothered about the ceremony. Um, the red carpet will be nice. No, red carpets are an awful experience, but they will be nice because at least we will get guaranteed. At least one picture of Millie and I. Because <laughs> we're shit at taking pictures. So shit at taking pictures. Like, there's so few pictures of us together. Um, so at least we'll get a good picture. And then once the ceremony's out of the way, we're mainly just excited to see all of our mates that we haven't seen in a long, long time. Like, because, because I don't know, just the way me and Millie are, I guess. Like, 
we work in game development, but a lot of our friends are game devs. Like, because we give a shit, I suppose, and it's not it's not just a job for us. So most of our friends work in game development. Um, because of the pandemic and like we haven't been to many events in the last few years, like a lot of them we haven't seen. So it's going to be very nice. Listen, I do not have one picture of just my husband and me from the cruise. So big same, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Is it a big theater you're going to for the awards? I don't know. They, they change the venue almost every year. Um, like it's at the South Bank Center in London. And I th I'm pretty sure it's like an auditorium. So yeah, a theater for the awards. It's the, the ceremony itself. And then obviously you have a dinner afterwards, which will be, oh, I don't know, just in any old, you know, generic big conference room type thing. A group of us are going to watch it live and chat in the Discord. Um, I think, I can't remember. I did have like screen sharing locked down in the Discord. Um, but if you know who's going to stream it, let me know. Uh, or just have a check if you can share video and I'll make sure that whoever wants to has got permission and all that kind of stuff. Also, you know, we're staying in a hotel and I don't know about the chat. I fucking love staying in hotels. I don't know why. I just love staying in hotels. I love getting room service. We were going to watch it live elsewhere, but that's nice of you. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. It's also on Twitch and YouTube, isn't it? It's not it's not um popular enough yet to be on the telly. Bam, 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 bam. Hotels are a blast. It's just like you don't have you know, you've just never got to do the washing up and stuff. You've never gotten room service? <gasps> room service is the fucking best. You finish traveling and you just get into like the little robe in the hotel room. And then bam. Order up a giant burger and three different desserts. Sit in your pants in the bed. <laughs> Watch some weird telly channel that you're not really sure what it is. It's the best. Oh, hi there, spaghetti day. I hope you're having a spaghetti day. All right, look, look at this. We got eight nuggets already, Chad. This is such a great spot. My birthday present from my husband was a hotel room of your very own for a weekend. What? Nobody else in it. I fucking love that as well. Doom, doom. And then Millie and I are going on our first flight in God knows how many years, like a week later. I'm jealous of Millie though. Like Millie gets to be passenger princess. One day, chat. One day, I get. I, I want to be a passenger princess, please. How'd the swim go? It was there. It was all right. It was quite boring. It was quite annoying today. It was it was very busy. It was very busy, so I, I struggled to get like a rhythm going today. But I mean, you know, I got I got my uh, I don't know about sixty lengths or something like that. The important thing is I'm still riding the endorphins, so I get those either way. I'm a perma passenger princess too. Well, on behalf of your husband. At some point, at least once, um, do it for him. Or at least, you know, make sure that, that he knows that it's appreciated. Doom, doom. I'd love to be a passenger princess. It must be so fucking nice. As long as you know that you've got, uh, I don't know, what, what's, what's the name of the person that does all the shit other than... A little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like the passenger princess and I don't know. 
the flight king i don't know what it is dom <laughs> uh. Jay, it's Sunday. What are you doing here? Frax, I streamed yesterday, and this is the second stream of today. Keep up, buddy. Jeez. Bow, bow. Navigator? That's not a bad shout. Like, for our, for our trip next week, it's like the tickets are booked, the flight's booked, the tickets to the conference are booked, the hotel's booked, the transfers are booked, the pre-flight hotel is booked, the parking is booked, the cat sitters are booked. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I think we've got everything set. Am I doing all right? I'm doing very all right, Frax. How you doing, buddy? There's a nice point in your life, I think, that you reach where you're like, no, no, sir. I am not going to get up at three in the morning to go and catch a flight. I'm going to spend a little bit of extra money and drive down the night before and stay in a hotel that's a mile from the airport. And I'm going to do this shit relaxed. I am the most, the most relaxed fly flyer, I think you could ask for as a travel partner. I, I'd love, I love observing people on, in airports because you see the, you see the most hilarious human shit goes on. We would like to invite rows 1 to 30 to board now. Everyone just stands up immediately and runs to the gate. Meanwhile, I'm just like, nah, I'll read some more of my book. I'll walk on when everyone else is on. <laughs> That's like, you land and the seatbelt sign goes off. And everybody's like, shk, 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 stands up and tries to grab their bag. And I'm like, nah, I'll just keep reading my book until I can just slowly walk off the plane. I remember once when I was younger, I wasn't that young, maybe... I mean, actually, I think I just broken up with my first girlfriend and that's why I was going on holiday. Like my parents, my parents were going off to visit my sister, uh, my mum's sister in Spain. And I'm like, do you want to come for like something to do? And I was like, yeah, I'll go. And I saw a woman. I've never seen somebody so aggressively holidaying to the point where I was like, there's no way that's relaxing. But I saw her on the plane and the, you know, the buckles, the seatbelt sign went off and she could come buckled straight off. She shot up like an Exocet missile. Grabbed her bags from the overhead locker. Um, oh, sneeze. And then, of course, had to stand up there with her bags for like 15 minutes while we actually waited for the plane to empty out. And then I just sauntered off behind her. Very relaxed. And then I literally saw her climb on top of the luggage, uh, the luggage uh, carousel. And you know, on like luggage carousels, you get those like big plastic flaps on some of them. Like some of them come up on an escalator or whatever from behind, uh, from below. And some of them just come through to these big plastic flaps. And I literally saw this woman climb up on the carousel and put half of her body through these plastic flaps to see where her luggage was. And I'm like, you cannot be having a relaxing holiday. And the best bit about it was I was sat not far from her. And I watched the entire flight literally run to one carousel in an effort to get their luggage. And then and I'm just like slowly walking towards it. And then they all got there and it's like a flight correction. The flight from London Gatwick, your luggage is now on carousel two, which I was just reaching. And I watched an entire plane of people literally run back to this carousel. And I'm just like saunter, saunter, saunter. <laughs> And then this woman like climbs into the luggage compartment to get her bag and I just spot my suitcase. And I'm like, cool. Just grab that and just saunter, saunter, saunter. I, I fucking, I'm so chilled out when I travel, but, but I love observing travelers. It's great. A man above and missus above it all. Thank you for coming back and saying hello again. How are you doing? Scooter Brown says hello. My gunshot is feeling very nice. I appreciate it very much. I'm just doing some light panning so I don't wreck my shoulder. But yeah, I'm gonna just like, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I, like, traveling is stressful, which I think is why I plan it all so I know it's all covered, and then I just, I never rush.
like done easy peasy like if, if i'm traveling i want it to be a nice experience and i am i am one of those irritating people that if i needed to i could just like raw dog a 10 hour flight like i could get on a 10 hour flight with like no headphones book nothing and i could just sit and watch the world go by <laughs> Ready to put in another 15 hours on the server? No, man above. Have healthy relationships with roleplay. I say that with love. I say that with love. I've seen two people lose their lives in roleplay servers. You, you meant like another 1.5 hours, right? You know, just pop on, check your telegrams. That's the biggest lie. That's the biggest lie in the world, chat. I'm just going to pop on and check my telegram. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> you say that in your second stream of the day. Yeah, but how many hours, Tyleon? Also, this is sort of, you know, also work. That's how I excuse it. No, 15 hours. Jesus, man, above. I don't know how you do it. I couldn't roleplay that long. My brain would just go... Okay, I'm tired now. Yeah. How are we doing on the nuggies? 13. Ooh, nice. I'm guessing, um, are you in the States, man above? Gotcha. The one thing I am loving about Ranch as a, as a European player is so much, um, like, it was a good, uh, healthy server population for most of the, like, you know, most of the 24-hour day. I used to RP all day, too. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I'm lucky, right, that I've got the shit to, like, I don't, I don't really have a choice, I suppose. I, I couldn't RP all day because I've got shit to do. So I, I guess I'm kind of forced to not RP all day. No worries, cat. It's good to see your face again. I hope you enjoyed your cruise. That's fair enough, man above. Why not, hey? There are certainly unhealthier things that you could do. Unhealthier thing? Less healthy? There are certainly less health. There's something unhealthier. I mean, that both works, but less healthy sounds sounds more right sounds more right jesus christ i'm sorry chat i used all my brain cells swimming now you just get tired jay who makes no sense <laughs> uh, uh, still working on your rp but practice makes perfect right 100 percent mana um but i'll be honest like i mean your rp was great Grammar is gone. Grammar is dead. Long live grammar. Well, let's, let's man above. I don't I don't know if this will make you feel better or worse. I'm trying to make you feel better, but like literally my day job is uh, a professional voice actor and I've been doing that for about 15 years. Um, and you just did a scene with me and it was great and you were great and it was easy and I didn't have to feel like I wasn't feeling like I was dragging the scene along. You were great, so don't tell your RP. It's very good. Muchos good. I rarely compliment anyone because I'm an asshole. But on stream, I was like, these guys are great. These guys are good. Plus, you helped out Scooter Brown. And honestly, good, good RP just a good RP starts before you even get on the server. I, I, I truly think that good RP begins with the attitude you have before you join the server. That's where the good RP starts. Like don't don't ever go in with a win-lose attitude and always add something to the scene that's it that's pretty much the two golden rules 
Like, keep a scene moving, and if you're not contributing, fuck off. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I would like to try and find a gunsmith today um, before I have to leave for, for D and D. So tired chat. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself all day tomorrow. Like, I... <sighs> I'm tempted to stream. But... I don't know how intense my recording session is going to be tomorrow night. I could stream and not talk. You know, I'd love that. <laughs> swim all day well that's the thing i'm not even going swimming because i'm like no record some spider-man oh, i could do that actually like i'm going to chat while i record it but i can keep that minimal Mo what movie night during the middle of the day was honestly um above it all like it's so it's so in, like so many people come into rp with so for so many different reasons and i swear to god half of the problems that you get in rp stem from i don't know maybe two things people who feel they have no power or autonomy in their day life and want to forcibly have that in role play and then second self inserts self inserts is the, like the number one fucking issue Hey, dancing. <clears throat> yeah, the, the bleed is the problem for sure. Like, you know, we've talked about this before, but like, you know, yes, yeah, Scooter has aspects of my personality. Obi has aspects of my personality. But nine times out of ten, I pick characters that I'm like, I'm just interested to play that kind of character. But I would never, I can't imagine anything duller, to be honest, than putting yourself in. Or if you do, because you're like, this is my first time role playing, I'm just kind of going to play myself. You need to have some kind of cast iron wall between that version of you and your version of you the IRL version my car broke down so what better way to spend the time waiting for the AA than to tune in oh shit I'm sorry dancing that's no fun but Scooter Brown's here for you don't worry and the pauses we take in the journey of life are the beats in which we prepare to feel the rhythm of the music once more so take this down time to attune yourself to the vibration energy of the universe I feel like if I went, all right, all right, all right, at the end there, that would fit. How far away is Scooter from getting his taxi? So far, Frax. So fucking far. I, like, I could just get the money, right? And and go and buy the gold. But I'm like, this is this is more interesting. Yeah, and that's it, daddy. That's the issue, right? People self-insert and then... It's like people self-insert and then, yeah, either people don't like the character or, you know, they get robbed, right? And that feels like a loss and it feels like it's happened to them and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Vibration energy. Yes, ma'am. Get some of that vibrating energy. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's easy for me because like, you know, doing the voice acting, I have to I have to take on some very awful scenes and um, you know, act out really intense stuff sometimes. So maybe I'm just used to very quickly having that nice separation between character and actor, but Maybe that's me. Yeah, and dealing with rejection as well. 
It's one of the things that RP uh, actors have to learn so hard is that like you are not the job. I think especially in the creative industries, it's so easy for it to consume your life because it does in, you know, mine and Millie's acting life, it, it does become your life. You know, I was just saying it literally 10 minutes ago that, oh, a lot of our friends are game devs. And, you know, with social media, the, the, you know, the entertainment industry never stops and it's very hard to clock out. So it's very easy to see yourself as your job, especially when you work in the entertainment industry. So you have to learn to, you know, put that to the side. We had a staff member that fought in character with one of your friend's character, and she started going into staff calls to cry and harass other staff into backing her up. I see. Uh, what? Ugh. I played D&D &D with a very religious guy who played a paladin, and everybody hated the paladin, and he thought we hated him. I just, uh. It's like... Uh, roll play roll it's not called roll serious okay it's roll play and this is the thing who was it who taught me this i can't remember i think it might be richard horvitz who was one of my uh acting coaches uh, who was like um when we're kids right i'm pretty sure we all did this as kids okay like so if, if you're of a certain age right acted out some star wars Right, and nobody is playing Darth Vader and, you know, Luke Skywalker, you know, playing out the very famous scene of, you know, no, Luke, I am your father when you're like 10. Nobody as a kid stops after that and goes, sorry, can I just check? Did you read when I said, Luke, I am your father? Did you really believe that? Did that, did that come through? Did you feel like I was actually your father? Well, actually, no, I don't feel you connected. No, you didn't give a shit, did you? You just enjoyed playing a character and that was it. And then, then that dreadful thing called self-consciousness comes along. And you start doubting yourself and you suddenly have to have worth and value and everything gets a lot more complicated. scooby -Doo. Someone to play Luke Skywalker who always ends, wins. But that's the thing. Luke didn't always win. Like, you know, Empire. His, his, one of his friends gets tortured and kidnapped. He loses his fucking hand and a fight with Darth Vader. Like, he loses in Empire. And do you know why he loses? Well, I mean, partly because it's Act 2 and you have to lose in a three-act structure. Um... But he loses because then that gives you somewhere to go in Act 3. If you don't ever fucking lose, where's the redemption? Where's the overcoming of a challenge? Where's the learning? Where's the growth? Why do you think trust fund babies is so fucking intolerable? Adversity is the greatest fucking teacher in the world. It's not particularly enjoyable, but it's a great teacher. <sighs> Scoom. And even with um it's not done to the same extent, but just thinking about it. What's his name? Um Poe Dameron. Like he follows a sort of similar path, right? Like in film one, he's really cool and all about it. And then whatever film it is where he attacks the battles, the the destroyer and a, a whole fleet of bombers gets wiped out and he gets like demoted from his position and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like you see it everywhere. It's kind of standard three act structure stuff, but we don't we don't like characters who don't struggle through something. You know, I mean, God, I'm just now thinking of the film Dungeons and Dragons, right? The most recent Chris Pine one. Every film, generally three act structure, right? The setup is in A. The struggle is in B and the finale is in C, right? That's it. That's how it works. 
and Dungeons and Dragons the film is follows exactly that the setup is in a they get their asses kicked a little bit by the boss or associated to the boss in section B and then they go away and they learn and they grow and they come back in section C and they eventually win the day I to be fair prefer it more when they fucking lose in act C <laughs> It's not it's not the the best film in the world, but it's one of the reasons one of the reasons why I like Swordfish. D did anyone remember that film in chat? Um like a hacking film with Halle Berry, Hugh Jackman, John Travolta. It's probably like late 2000s. Maybe like two feels like a, like a 2009 film, but I don't know. I'm not sure what year it was. It might be more modern. But I like that because at the end of the film, in inverted quotes, the terrorists win. Like the people that are set up to be the bad guys and the criminals in that film ultimately win. They, 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 their plan goes through and they win. And I'm like, I like that because that's a massive subversion of expectations. I mean, I love subversion of expectation. 2001 is that old. Holy shit. It's why I like doing shit with Scooter where I set him up as this, you know, drunk, old, slightly hobo-esque character and then have him come out with passages of very intelligent, lucid speech around complex subjects so that you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's not just a drunk hobo. There's a bit of depth to him here. And you subvert the expectation of what that character is. Like that's, I love that. And now I'm on my soapbox, so I'll shut up now and get off. I'm sorry, I got all, I got all excited. Bam, bam, bam. How we doing? Oh, 28. <gasps> but yeah, unsurprisingly, chat, I'm very passionate about storytelling and acting, and I could talk about it forever. I find a lot of movies boring these days. Yeah, like... It's not the most interesting period in cinematic history, that's for sure. There's some, you know, there's some cool stuff being done, but... It feels like we did, we figured out we could do awesome action movies and then we've just done nothing else for... for a while. <sighs> I think it's, it's, it's why I like it when they kill good guys in films right because that subverts expectations and there's a scene in family guy when they're parodying star wars and um like they're in they're on the millennium falcon and they're kind of like in a bit of um you know a bit of trouble like they're getting shot at by tie fighters or something and the princess leia character says oh my god we're you know we're gonna die <laughs> and peter griffin who is playing han solo is like look we got three or four of the main cast on the ship at the moment i think we're gonna be fine <laughs> I don't like that's so, that's so on the nose, right? You're like, they're not going to kill off any of these characters. This scene has no tension. It's going well average. We're, we're getting good gold out of this spot. Is that Spaceballs you're talking about? No, like literally Family Guy did a parody of... Um, all th in fact, I think they ended up doing a parody of all three episodes of um, of the original trilogy. I think they called it A Blue Harvest is the name of it. That's the one I remember. I don't know if they did all three films or not. <gasps> Fingers crossed, Daddy. Fingers crossed. Deciding whether or not it's worth it to do the panning. It depends what you want, I guess, average. Like, I'm doing this for RP reasons, because I want to... I need gold for my wagon. And yes, Consuela on the Death Star. Need more lemon pledge. No, the Darth Vader, he's not here. Need more lemon pledge, Mr. Vader. So good. Peter! No lemon pledge. 
Damn, ba damn, ba damn. What's what's really weird, especially if you watch Blue Harvest, is you could watch that. It's 45 minutes long, right? That's the Family Guy parody of A New Hope. And you watch it, and afterwards you're like, it's only 45 minutes, but I don't know what they cut. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's got every scene, but how is it only 45 minutes long? I heard about them rebels. You hear what them rebels did? No, what did the rebels do? They took Steve's dog. Oh no, Steve loves that dog. <laughs> <laughs> and what I do, what I love is they just throw in those little scenes of like these Imperial officers talking about the fact that rebels stole somebody's dog. And then it cuts like later on to Han Solo and uh, Chewie working on the Millennium Falcon. And he's just like, hey, what'd you do with that dog we stole? And he's like, I killed it and ate it. Woo, yeah, rebel, rebel, rebel. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, it doesn't Meg just play the worm inside the asteroid, I think, doesn't she? That's literally it. It's amazing. Oh, and the worm in the compactor. Compactor. Damp down. All right, I've got at most about an hour and twenty minutes left, and then I got and then I got D and D and D, D and D and D. Yeah, Discord is really fucking slow right now, isn't it? Down, 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 down. Do I prefer slow or full noodles talk? <sighs> please don't bring that trash into this stream, please, Wes. Okay. This is the relaxing stream. I will not be getting angry about noodles. I mean, I probably would. Chips and crisps. Do you know what? Do you know what? <laughs> you know the really sad bit about this, the chips and crisps thing, is maybe oh, maybe we're stumbling on something, chat. This might be the source of all my anger about American food names. Is I can still feel the disappointment as a child at Universal Studios in Florida. I would have only been young, under ten years old, going up to a food cart in Universal Studios ordering chips and then just being monumentally disappointed and sad when they then gave me a bag of crisps like what the fuck is this bullshit I was like you know I've been looking forward to receiving some nice warm delicious fries or chips and then was handed a bag of crisps here you go, son. Well, you go fuck yourself, Dave. I think that's it, chat. I think I think that's where all my hurt and sadness stems from. <laughs> I think that's it. We're understanding why I react quite so vociferously to uh, American food problems. I just know that somewhere out there, there is another child being disappointed. A 
tourist in a strange and foreign land seeking solace in a comfort food item only to find themselves adrift in a sea of meaningless names it's okay little jay it's okay we'll get you those chips buddy one day it sounds like in a world one man one noodle coming this summer a story of love of forgiveness and one man's quest to right the wrongs of a child coming up next noodle spaghetti sauce cookie fire three Because you get two different types of inner world. Do you know that chat? In fact, you don't get inner world. It's anymore now. It's so rare that you actually get VO over a trailer these days. Usually it's all just, um, you know, in game, uh, in film audio. But yeah, you get two different kinds of inner world. You get this one, inner world. Okay. Or you get this one, inner world. And you know it. You know that the second one is a Pixar film. And the first film stars Adam Sandler. I don't know. In a world, one man against time versus in a world, one man against time. The princess and the frog. See? Acting. Come on, Chai. Give me your, give me your best worst uh, trailer scripts. We'll do it. We'll do it live. So many nuggets. So many nuggets. I do need. I need a bomb, don't I? I need a bomb somewhere. What's my favorite kind of VO work to do? The paying kind. <laughs> <laughs> Literally anything that pays. <laughs> anything that pays. Doom. Doop doom doom. Smart ass. <laughs> Hello. I thought we'd met. Uh honestly, it's very hard to pick. Like <sighs> I don't know, in all honesty, because you'd think I'd go, oh, it's video games. But it depends on the video game and, and the team you're working with and the script. Like, a lot of video game work is bad. Not because of anything in particular, but just, I don't know, it depends how good the game in the script is, you know? Like, yeah, you get to act, but it's, 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 it's always creatively unfulfilling to act with a bad script or a naff character or whatever, so... Anything where I get to do the acting, though, so I, I, I would say I still come down on on video games. But equally, I don't think you can beat ensemble animation work. What role of yours do you consider your best work? Can I answer with a with a brutally honest answer? Is I have n I have never done my best work. And I'll be honest, it's the biggest sticking point in my career so far. Like, I'm very grateful to have done all the work that I have, but I'm getting bored of playing 34 different characters. I'm getting bored. Not bored. I will always do it because it's always better than working in IT. But I'm done playing, you know, generic man number seven and trader number six. Like, I have not had a chance yet in 15 years to, to show what I can actually do. So I've not done my best work, ghouls, is my answer to that question. Not by not even close. And unfortunately, that's the bit of the, the actor's life, which is luck that you don't really get to control. Because I, I guarantee you this, this is the weird thing, is we have never seen the best actor in the world because there will be so many brilliant 
actors that we have never seen or heard of. Jesus, ghouls. And you see, like, that's luck. You couldn't really control that or make that happen. They were the twins in American Horror Story. Which season is that? The twins. <laughs> Happenstance and luck. Yeah. Like, you could be the best actor in the world if, if the right job and opportunity doesn't come your way then the circus oh that's like four i think what have you got you've got murder house asylum then maybe circus would you ever take a role playing moriarty in a sherlock series yeah wait i know hang on moriarty yes a hundred percent a thousand percent. Sorry, I was thinking of um, uh, what? Oh God, what's his name? Uh, Mil Mil Milfred. Uh, what's Sherlock uh, Sherlock's brother called? Um. Oh God, I'm getting this. Mycroft. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, I was thinking of Mycroft. Yeah, Moriarty. A thousand percent. Yeah. Like for me, my ideal role or the character type I would like to play is a very complex villain. That's what I would like to play. Like I, I love, I, I want, I love complex characters. Um, and like being as versatile as I am is a blessing and a curse, because it means I'm, you know, versatile. But it means that tends to be what I get brought in for. But yeah, I would like a very complex villain and complex characters etc etc like i love that that's that's really interesting and villains are always more interesting than the goodies they're always more complex because they've, they've usually got a lot more going on under the hood like either a complex villain or kind of that to the nth degree which is a complete psychopath right you got your two you got your subtle villain who is like textbook narcissist like an intelligent a very intelligent psychopath who plans and plots and schemes right on a grand scale and then you've got your just i am uncomfortably psychopathic it's why i like the idea of in, in rp um spinning up a character uh I, i've kind of i've kind of talked about it a little bit on stream but you know who is just here Come in, sit down, have some tea. Who who seems perfectly fine and nice on the surface, but just like even them asking you if you want something to drink, you're just like, this is off. It's like this is somebody playing what they think is a normal person. <laughs> I've never seen a proper psychopath in a movie. I'm trying to think of all the psychopaths shown in movies. I mean, Hannibal, I mean, but even something like Hannibal, right? Like Anthony Hopkins is phenomenal. I think it's hard to do it justice in a movie because the movies are always slightly, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Aggrandized? That's not really the word I want. You know, they're always a little bit bigger than normal. appealing to the masses it's more just like uh, on the medium like on on screen the characters even if it's very slightly still have to be a little bit bigger um but what's so fascinating about villains is they don't think they're the villain right like most villains don't actually think they're the villain like a good a good you know villain like that's what makes them so fucked up is they don't understand they don't think they're the bad guy like i mean it's it's cliche and it's very not the not the mood i'm thinking of but like thanos as far as thanos is concerned he's the good guy 
and he talks about how nobody will appreciate it for him uh pre appreciate him for it and that he's just doing what needs to be done right yeah sometimes they do of course they do but the really interesting ones you kind of go down almost like the zealot route or fanatic <sighs> like Marcus, Marcus Renshaw, who was the villain I played on Sundance RP, he knew he was fucked up. Like he was definitely more psychopath. Um like true psychopathy in Marcus. Like he knew what he was doing and he fucking enjoyed it. He enjoyed making people squirm. But like most psychopaths, it, it, the idea that he was less intelligent or less powerful or underneath somebody else would send him into a rage. Like a lot of psychopaths, you know, there's a huge power element to a psychopath. Like, just go and listen to the interviews. very interesting like a lot of the time in uh in you know the taped interviews with the you know serial killers in america over the 80s and 90s for example the, the second that it, they kind of get poked a little bit that they're not as smart as they think they are you can hear that defensive nature come out marcus was a sensible character marcus was eminently sensible he was simply an accountant. Now let's balance your books. Yeah, I, got, I get you, Garth, but let me flip it. What would you have it happen? Them just shoot the baddie and that's it? That's the end of the film? <laughs> like, there's got to be some degree of artistic license. Yeah, but equally, what would you have them do, Garth? Have the goodie get shot and end the film? I see. What I would counter with, Garth, is actually all bad guys in films are incredibly good shots. And I'll, I'll tell you why, okay? I'll tell you why. Uh, James Bond, right? He does a lot of running away from enemies. Do you have any idea how hard it is to consistently shoot one meter behind a running target's foot? Those are not bad guys, are not bad shots. They are exceptional shots. To continually keep pace a meter behind a moving target, that's an exceptionally good shot. Diddy boom. Diddy boom, how are we doing? 47 nuggies. I don't know if this is dull or not, chat, but I am kind of tempted to stay here until we get enough for another bar. We're, we're pretty we're pretty close. The stormtrooper theory. Exactly. They're not bad shots. They know exactly what they're doing. I think all stormtroopers are secretly rebels. I do want to play another villain. I like villains. I'm playing another serial killer. James Bond is the Time Lord. Why is that how he gets away? Also, welcome in, Trigger Tech Anne. Welcome to the secret RP channel. Shh. A secret. Don't go tell nobody. I really want to bring Obi, but I've got I've got no motivation for Obi at the moment, which makes me sad. Bam, bam. 
What Mr. V told me? <gasps> Mr. V too. Wait, which Mr. V? Oh, wait. I know. I know who you mean, I think. My two. Hey, my two. How you doing, buddy? I telegrammed you earlier on. This one. That's exactly who I was thinking. Thank you, Merv Dog, for spreading the word of our sacred strange. Shh. Uh, by the way, if you like my particular brand of bullshit, um, here is my here is my main Twitch channel. I got more gold nuggets. Yeah, I, I telegrammed you this morning, my two. I won't tell you what. I'll um, I'll let you find out. There's nothing in it like you need to action. It was just it was just bringing you up to speed on what's been happening to Scooter. Okay, let's go over here. Drop off my nuggies. Oh, look how pretty this game is. Disgustingly pretty. Oh, actually, we're doing better than I thought. 139. Okay, we only need 11 nuggies, chat. We only need 11 more nuggies. That's nothing. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know what to do with Obi because he's an assistant deputy, so he shouldn't really have the attitude. But like, I can't. I can't be sitting on a porch with eight other lawmen. That's gonna drive me crazy. All right, never eleven nuggies, chat. Let's go. That's what we need. Eleven nuggies, and then we're out. Well, if you're all bored enough to stand on the bird, boo -ba -doo. Obi just needs to be like Grand High Marshal. That's what he needs to be. Name's Marshal Obadiah Colt. Y'all need to have a good, long, hard look at yourselves about why you're such a pussy you gonna stand on the porch. I swear to God, this porch in Valentine's is the safest place in all of Monroe. You're supposed to wear the badge, not hide behind it. But how about you take your dicks out of your hand and get a move on? I want Obi to be a rancher and a granddad. Now, Obi's story stops the second he leaves law. Like, that's, that's where his story ends. Because if he leaves law alive then he just goes off and becomes a rancher like that's it that's the end of his story he just gets a little bit of land somewhere tends his crops and retires nuggies i know you made nuggies What did we say we needed to chat? 11. Okay. How long before you stop being an assistant? I don't really know. I don't think it's that long. It's honestly, it's less that. It's more that if like, if that's the nature of the law RP. <laughs> In the server, it's going to be real frustrating. Like honestly, it makes me want it makes me want to play a crim. Like that's what it wants me to be. Um bam, bam, ba -dam, bam, bam, bam. I told you my two skater brown knows how to goddamn hunt. You shot a snake? What's the matter? You blink and miss it? Also, my two, I've just been playing on the RP servers without a uh, crosshair for so long. I kind of know roughly where the center of my screen is now. How do you aim? It's basically center of the screen is where the where the reticule would be. Damn, 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 damn. So you just got to 
I don't know. You just kind of have to get a feel for where the center of your screen is and put that on the target and that's about it. That's the best you can do. You'd never get caught if you did do a crime. And that's the thing, like, bad law is bad for criminals. I'm picturing that there is... Uh, it's just actually washi tape on the screen. What's washi tape? You ran them over with your horse? <laughs> I can't hit anything. I need my online aiming. It is like I I uh, I don't know. I I'm in two minds about reticules on RP servers. I think uh, I think in a pinch I come down on having a reticle. I think like for for a couple of reasons is why I come down on the side of having a reticle is there are so many ways to have a reticle without um you know to, to make up for the fact that the server doesn't have one that you don't you don't have a level playing field right because you can there's plenty of ways to have a you know know where the center of your screen is right so you can't even guarantee a level playing field by saying that Secondly, if you want to RP a character who is a great hunter or a great gunfighter or all that kind of stuff, but like you're not you're not a big gamer and you don't necessarily know where the center of the screen is and all that kind of stuff, like then give people a reticule. So it's just it's just I think you can't guarantee that it's a level playing field anyway. I get that the part the point of it is to you know slow down gunfights and all that kind of stuff, but. I, in a pinch, I would side on leaving the reticle on, but, I, you know, change the day and I'll probably change my opinion. Okay, five to go. Come on, nuggies. Oh, it's decorative tape that doesn't stick hard. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was like electrical tape or something. That is true, my two. Yeah, like, that's totally valid as well. But equally, I could just, I don't know, get, there must be software or something that sticks uh, a crosshair in. Like, I could just do that and go, there you go, I'm the best. So, like, that's what I mean, you can never guarantee. But at least it shows the intent. Like I say, I, I could argue it either way, to be honest. What happened to me resting over the weekend? I am resting. Remember, that's the whole point of this channel. Like, it's a low, uh, low effort stream. Because basically, this is why I'm streaming. I would be playing this right now, whether I was streaming it or not, to just chill out on my Sunday. So it's no bother just to, uh, you know, spin up the stream. Bam, bam, bam. Um, but my monitor has a feature for adding one. That's cool. But equally, I think on Ranch, they fuck with the... the accuracy of the weapons anyway, I think. I think. But also, they were saying if you change your character's height, like I think Scooter is a little shorter than default and Obi is a little taller than default. So that fucks with their their accuracy as well. Like we've seen it with uh, Obi and his bolt action rifle. I can be dead on something with the iron sights and it will still miss. I can click three buttons on my monitor and have a fancy dot. Ooh, a fancy. <gasps> Mechanical, but, but a dot on your beautiful monitor? Thank you for counting, Garth. Now we just got to get to the smelter and try and not get robbed. And then we'll have two bars out of five. 
<laughs> It'll be fine. Why is my super secret channel nearly a part of the level, viewers? Uh, this wasn't the plan. Fuck's sake. Y'all need to find something better to do with your time, I'm just saying. Is this awesome? I mean, it's just country and western music and an old man from gold panning. Hey, look, there's a fish. Because you advertise your super secret channel. Yeah, but people aren't supposed to come to it. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. Kind of halfway there, sort of. I mean, we're at 66 viewers. 75 is partner level. I'm laser engraving some leather. Oh my god, Trekatican. Holy shit. Can't even scream <laughs> while your mother's across there. Do you think maybe we like you? Uh, don't be gross. I've told you all, you got terrible taste. Oh, I'm so excited about my suit next week, Jack. I mean, I wear jeans and a t-shirt pretty much all the time, but I fucking love formal wear. I love formal wear. I can't cat. I've got D&D &D in an hour, so at most I'm here for an hour. Come on, one nuggy. Let's go. I tell you what, I think there's something fucked on my YouTube channel and it's really starting to frustrate me because it's delaying publishing VODs. Is that big Coxie? Hey, buddy. I fucking miss you, dude. I miss that RP so fucking much. Uh, but no, that's not Big Colt. Uh, this is Scooter Brown, who was also on Wild. Uh, he's my, he's my 67-year-old local celebrity, and we're currently gold panning to get some gold together for my wagon. Uh, but Obadiah is on this server as well. Hi there, name's Obadiah. Obadiah Colt. I'm doing really well, thank you, Coxie. How you doing, buddy? You're still, are you still up here? I keep seeing you on... Um, I haven't seen you on Red Dead much, but I keep seeing you pop up on GTA. But very, very well, thank you. We got it, champ. We got our nuggies. Let me put my injury style back on, though. Uh, right leg. There we go. Oh, look at Scooter with his little limp chat. <laughs> his little limp. My poor Scooter boy. Oh, there we go. Okay, I should add you up. One fitty nuggets. Okay. Uh, let's go. Come on. It looks like a warm day. Let's pack up his coat. Uh, yeah, roll up your sleeve, Ace. There we go. I scooter. her. Might put his shotgun on his back, though, seeing as we've got... <laughs> seeing as we got some nuggies. Oh. <gasps> Oh, here's the other thing with... Yeah, I might have to... Oh, that's such a shame. The walk style fucks with so many... I can't even reload with the walk style on. Oh, no. Okay, I think I'm all right. Oh, Caval, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Coxie. How many nuggets do you need for bar? 150. Yeah, 150. Uh, but for those who don't know, Coxie uh, played O'Malley, wasn't it? I, I wanted to say O'Neill, but I mean, that's completely wrong. O'Malley, uh, who was pretty much uh, brought Colt into uh, the law RP over on Wild. Um, are you a... Yeah, you're a horse. Um, and with some of the best RP... I still remember. You will be roped, O'Malley. That was so good. So good. So, yeah. It's hard to tell you what, though, Coxie. I can't believe. Uh, like, that's over two years ago. 
Uh, it was May... What are we now? 2024. So May 2022 was when I got banned. So, like, that's over two years ago now. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, that's fast. Well, thank you very much, uh, Lazy Buzzard. I appreciate it. Scooter Brown is my comedy character. Although he can be serious when required if he's been eaten by a cougar, a wolf, a bear, and shot by a local, which is what happened to him yesterday. Howdy! Scooby doo doo. Please don't rub my nuggies. Down, 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 down. But yeah, at the moment, I've only got Scooter Brown on this server and then Obadiah. I'm sure my character Johnny has met you. I think so, Buzzard? Yeah. And then we've got my lore character, Obadiah Colt. But I'm, I'm so tempted to just spin him into a private investigator. Heath hasn't made an entrance yet. That's because I can't turn on everybody all in one go, okay? You're already getting fucking thirsty over Obadiah, okay? Can't bring in Heath. Hello, everybody. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm just having a very long bath. Should do OBPI. It's tempting. Just go around solving all the cases that law can't. I'm such a bitch. <laughs> it's Jay Sigrid way to force subs. Now, who would want to sub to Heath? Club, clip club. Thank you, PD. Doing the Lord's work. Da -da 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 Down. I'd be Heath sub. Oh, I like more than one. It's not a party unless there's more than one. Go right back. Need to go. Haggis, I just read that as you saying that you need to go do a shit. <laughs> I thought, well, that's good to know. Thanks very much. Oh, God damn! See? Shotguns are pointless. A bow and arrow, I reckon, would have done that. I didn't even wing it enough to make it lie down. Jesus Christ. Does Ranch also have the case of the head-aching train tracks? Is that where, if you ride through a certain area... Um, on the train. Uh, sorry, the like just up here in Valentine, it'll make the game crash. I don't think so. I think there was a deer over here, chat. Be quiet. Be very quiet. We're well, hunting rabbits. Is it still over there? Ah, oh, damn it, it's run off. Oh, that's the other thing as well. Like, you can tell where the center is, at least with deers, because you only get the information when you're actually aiming. So that is another easy way to tell. Like, do you see how I can see the information come up? And that tells me when the center is on it as well. So that's another super easy to tell. Like you don't know, you don't know if you're on like, on like the head, the neck, or what. But as long as you're on the animal, you'll get the information up here. I had two foot. Oh, we hit it. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 
nearly got it. Right, my two? It is frustrating. But I, I like it. Like, I just lean into the RP of it is generally where I go with it. Like, that shot with you the other day up in the mountains, that was, I mean, that was just a fucking lucky shot. I mean, I'm, I'm glad it went that way for roleplay. Oh my god. Did I, get, did I go up its nose? Jesus Christ, Scooter. I just liked it because it meant that your daddy could still teach you a thing or two. Uh, what I will do, chat, by the way, is I will I will um, take the VODs from both this morning stream and this stream um, and just pop it into a single VOD for YouTube. So it'll just be today's roleplay in a single VOD. Oh, look, there's another one. I do want some meat. I just need to make a little bit of money keep tipping in. In fact, we got to go this way anyway, so... I'm not quite sure what the range is on arrows. I really want to get the improved bow, though. I don't know what difference it makes, but I just want it because it looks pretty. Uh, the other thing you can do as well, if you don't know, but most of you will, is when you're aiming like this, you can call to make them stick their head up. I mean, that one did it anyway, but... As long as you go slowly, you can get pretty damn close. Oh, son of a bitch. God damn you. That's the most frustrating thing when you hit them, but they survive. Let's go see if we can't hunt him down. I mean, this is all fine because this is all going towards the smelter anyway. I told you not to fuck with Scooter Brown. That's two for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the best drive-by I've ever done. <laughs> down, down, down. The other real good thing about the bow and arrow, to be honest, especially for hunting, is that the... Hello there. Hi, they. Is that the arrows are dirt cheap compared to all the rest of the ammunition that you have to buy, so you can afford to spray and pray a little bit. All right, let's get to this smelter. I think that's enough distraction now. Tig, I'm scared. I mean, it's the middle of the day, in-game at least. I'm hoping the schmelter will be quiet. Oh, shit. No, actually. Uh, I don't think we can go to the schmelter. Let's check what's in my box. Ah, shit. All right, we got to go to Valentine first. Okay there. Uh, yeah, how do you I was just checking my box. Goodness oh. mate. Is that the famous Scooter Brown? Oh my yes, it is me. Uh, how you doing? Who a day, everybody? Howdy howdy. You are very famous. Local celebrity. Well well, thank you so much. I don't like to, you know, say it out loud, but yeah, it's me. How y'all doing? You out for a for a nice ride? My we on our way home. Wait, where are you heading at? Emerald Ranch? Yeah, that's the place. Oh, it's beautiful. I do my, I farm my potatoes up there. Is that right? 
Yeah, I'm getting some uh, money and stuff together to build, to build my wagon so I can do tour rides. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is right. And everybody up at that ranch has been, uh, well, you, you, everyone's been so lovely. I'm glad to hear. I, I do my bit, my, grow my potatoes, give you all the crops and such. It's kind of being uh, so you nice. If you ever need a more work, uh, Mr. Brown, you stop by. Right? I, I will. I'll be by for some seeds. Wonderful. Right. See you then. Y'all stay, stay safe. safe. Fucking <laughs> love it. Are you local celebrity Scooter Brown? <laughs> yes, it's me. <laughs> uh i i just i love it so much when people go along with it it's so it's so fun when when they yes and the share out the fact he thinks he's a local celebrity because i don't care whether he is a local celebrity or not but i love it when people just go along with his delusions that he is a local celebrity like i must be i'm old of course i'm a celebrity did you expect Sco Scooter to get this recognizable? No, not at all, but I love it because it just fits his little story so much. Like, Sco Sco Scooter is my... I hate to say this about him, but he's my nothing character, right? Like, he, I don't have any storylines planned for him. I don't have an end planned for him. He is my chill out, mind some stuff, get some RP, just kind of bobble along with everything, right? Like, I, I will probably never kill off scooter brown because he is just an entity right so i love i love playing him along like that so i don't have any i don't have any desires for him right so it just means he can go along with everything and i, I just i fucking love it when people yes and him being a local celebrity that's true i gotta live to my 180 so i can teach my son everything i know it's gonna take that long like yesterday, he finally got on a train for the first time, and I, now I might also take him down the train driver route. Go and talk to um to Atlas about giving tall rides whilst on the train. Uh, but let's go sell uh, this meat, pick up the coal. That's why we had to come back to Valentine because we need coal to do the smelting. Damn, the scooter is immortal. Well, like most celebrities, I will live on past death. We hit I-10, I might lose the stream. My god, Cat Volk. Not category I-10. Uh, I think I need to keep some of this meat. Let's have a look what we got. Uh, we got 10 venison. All right, let's sell... Let's split this off into seven. And I'll put the three on the horse. Yeah, okay. We gotta... I get this sometimes. My horse just won't... I can't move my horse, chat. Okay, fine. Gonna be a little bitch about it. Oh, that's it. I forgot that little bug. I forgot that bug existed in Red M. I don't know if it's Red M or RDO, actually. Um, Where if you're crouched, when you get on the horse, it won't move and you have to press control and then you can move the horse. It's like the handbrake. <laughs> uh, can I settle all of that? Dear, dear, dear. Yes. Okay, we gotta go get our coal. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! I should know, okay. We've we've renamed Fake Pickle My Two. <laughs> He's now called Gherkin. <laughs> Look at that. What kind of asshole parks in the middle of the horse hitching bay? There's some kind of special asshole. Oh, excuse me. You're excused. 
All right, let's jump those in. Okay, uh, 38 coal. That well, should be more than enough. Let's split it though. I don't think I don't think we'll need any more than 19 coal. It's only like three coal or something like that. It's, it's relatively small. I'm pretty sure. I do have a horse brush. The only thing that slightly bugs me on Raj is you can't brush your horse unless you're on it. I've never had that issue in other servers. It's cooking. It's cooking. That's pretty majestic. Okay, let's go. How many law are on the porch? One, two, three. Yeah, I make them. Four. Um, why are you sitting Yet again, safest place in Valentine. <laughs> 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 Dubs and 38, uh, 36 centimeters. Thank you for the followers. Welcome on in. Oh my god, chat. We could do like it. When I hit 300 followers, I'll do a face reveal. How about that? Scooby do do do. Whose face? I don't know. I'll just find someone. I'll just get a picture off the internet. What on earth was that guy doing? I don't know, but he called Scooter Brown a dickhead. Down, down, down. Insurance scam. <laughs> totally. Oh my god, I could bring Lucius in as a horse insurance salesman. Fuck yes, that's exactly the kind of racket that Lucius would do. Oh yeah, that's exactly the kind of racket that Lucius would do. Hello there, sir. It is I, Alabaster Lucius of Alabaster's Horse and Equine Insurance Facilities. I've been trying to telegram you about your horse's extended warranty. For just the small price of $10, I will protect your horse against all an animality. Absolutely not protected in any way, shape, or form. This insurance contract is not binding or valid. What do you think? Have you ever wondered what would I do should my horse fall? Well, now you have the answer. <laughs> Lucius is a fucking menace, Chuck. I can't bring him in. Why there? Look at your horse. Just stood there. Pulls out a gun. <laughs> Shoots the horse. Look at that. Now your horse is dead. If only you'd had insurance. <laughs> That's tempting. It's tempting. Okay, right. He, uh, it's right there, I think. It sounds more like Heath than Lucy. No, Heath, Heath would never shoot a horse. Is there anywhere I can hitch pickle? I'll tell you what, let's try this. Eh, eh. Uh, okay, what is it? You, do, you can do Z, can't you? Horse, rest. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on. Right. No, I need the nuggies off the horse. That would help. The only other thing that I wish Ranch had um, is the ability to just press B and when you're in proximity of the horse and you get... Um, you get the horse's inventory. That would be so nice. That's not realism. Yeah, but neither is just looking at your horse really intently and magically getting access to its inventory. Okay? <laughs> Okay, we've safely got a gold bar on our horse. Okay, let's just... Coyotes are okay. 
We're okay, chap. Let's get back to Valum a time quick. It's one of the, the one of the very good things about. Holy shit nuts. That's a that was a lot of deers. Holy crap. There was like 15 deer or something there. That was insane. Oof. Hello. You, you juked. Okay, let's go. the other one go oh oh i don't think we're gonna get there in time oh oh did i get it in the back of the head <gasps> scooter you absolute menace Occasionally, I'm like, if I'm not going to get to this deer in time, I will see if I can release it and shoot it. Okay, keep riding. I don't have gold. There's no gold here. Ow! Oh, that's a cactus up my asshole. God damn it. Come on, Scooter. You're better than that. Let's go. Yep. <sighs> I don't think I've, I've never seen the Heartlands with this sheer volume of deer on it. It's insane. There's deer everywhere. Deer, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Scooter, that's not the appropriate use of a cactus. Suddenly, bear! You okay, fella? You okay, fella? Okay. I'd be grumpy. Have a better day. <laughs> that might be a, it might be an NPC who's lost their horse, potentially. Oh, there's a random... I think there's strange things going on in the Heartlands right now, chat. I need to play Joey to learn how to hunt a la Scooter style. I mean, literally, it's just to uh, sneak up when you can and try to hit them when their info is on the screen, and that's about it. Let's get this gold bar in the goddamn bank. I don't know if um, gold bars stack. I'm so glad we made our gherkin pretty. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Can you rob NPCs? I don't know. I honestly don't know a lot about the robbing mechanics. Jesus Christ. Like, I think, if it's anything like other servers I've been on, when you, um... Uh, hang on. When you, um, when someone puts their hands up, I think you get another option when you hold right click. You know, when, you know how you trade, Gobble? I think if someone has their hands up and you do that, you get an extra option, which, which will probably be something like search, maybe. Okay, we need some copper. I think. That would be my guess, having seen other servers. 
That's Chuck. He's my cousin, actually. We just say brother, you know. Uh, okay, we got five bucks. I want to wander up and see if there's a gunsmith in. And what was it? Uh, Clayton Randy. Do need to buy some, uh, some arrows, actually. Here's my brother cousins. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, I'll get some. Oh, look, there's some pistol ammo. That means it's free, right? All right, uh, what have I got? Four. Okay, 26 arrows. Do I have enough for 26 arrows? I don't know how you write 26. Because you can't delete the initial one. I guess you do it like that. Okay, that's weird, but okay. Fucking then I cancelled it like an idiot. <laughs> Let's just click. I find it, it's easier. Da-dum, <laughs> dum da -dum, da -dum. There we go. I tried twice to join Rancho P, got denied twice, so I deleted Red Dead, went back to GTA. They like my money. Oh, okay. Cool story, bro. Hey, Andy. Hey, what? That sounds like robbing territory. I'm out of here. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> IRL time check. You good on time? Yeah, I've got like uh, maybe 20 minutes before I got to stop. Oh, I really want to find a gunsmith, ideally. It's like a live update. You know, it's like a, so you, I type it in. You, t look, you type in the top right of yours there. Top right. Yeah, so see where it says I money zero zero. Yeah, oh. you can't. Oh, see, type, oh look at that. that. Yeah, yeah. What? Anyway, how'd you do it. that? Uh, you gotta flex your right oh. right muscle and hold and look at somebody and then you. Uh, you can type in the top right. That's no. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> oh, hang on. You can. Let's see if it works. Um. I think. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what it does. Will it will it find the nearest thing or does it just do an animation? Oh, okay, I think it's just doing an animation. Maybe they were no, they were literally because then I heard them say, Oh yeah, I can drag things. Guys, come on. Guys. 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 Okay. Clear horse first. Oh, what? Like, with? would you mean take that with the box off? My two. Uh, let's just pop that down. Oh, press clear. Sorry, I'm with you. Yeah, horse. Clear. Oh! What does that do? Horse. Oh, is clear like the same as like stop animation, basically, that kind of idea. Okay, that kind of works. If we were down at a river or something, that's nice. Yeah, Gherkin. To be honest, though, that's perfect for Gherkin. <laughs> that's absolutely what Scooter, Scooter Brown's horse would be like. I, I go drink the water near me. <laughs> oh, sir. Can I, uh, sir. Can I take the book back? Is it about the same thing? Yeah, the same situation from his end. Um, if you want to give that to Gallows, Ga I mean, uh, Winter C can take the wooden statement down. Okay. Um, where's Winters? Right behind you. Oh. But no, Cole, I had, I had uh, Callum help me up because it was only me and Winters here and we was dealing with him. And we had a lot of witness statements. There you go. I think the fourth page is free. Thank you, Callum. I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. I like to write. <laughs> God knows, my delight. Like... This is a fucking hot mess. <sighs> Who knew Mr. Moon was poisoning people? Hi there, sir. 
Oh, hi. I was just wondering, anyone know a, or you've seen a gunsmith in town today at all? Uh, there was. He wears a white apron. A white apron. Blue okay. Shirt, yeah. Thank you. I keep my eyes peeled. All right. There's a, there's a one for this town, though. Is that guy talking? I could like I couldn't hear anything. Mumbly mumbly. Who was that? Ooh. Ooh! I might try and buy a horseshoe. How much money have I got? Two dollars? That might be enough. Safest porch in Monroe. It shouldn't be a meme, but it really is. It really is at this point. Oh wait. Oh, is that George? Where's Betsy? Hey. Oh, yeah, that's George. Uh, oh, hey, goddamn Gherkin, come here. What the fuck is this thing? Contact my boss. Is this fucking horse? There you go, oh, there she is. There. Right there, right there. Ooh, that's a pretty saddle. It's very that's bougie. Nice, that's a nice looking horse you got there. Did I cook it? That's thickin'. Roll, roll. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go sell this stuff. <laughs> well, hopefully we just... Page your next one. Look at that. Oh. Let's sell. Okay, we can sell what I've got on me and go and cook this other venison. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, okay, sell. So... That's good progress, chat. We got two. We got two now. One to go. Alley hoop. Beep boop. Oh, that med RP we had this morning chat was so nice. Real nice. Yeah, we got two gold bars. We got the iron that we need. Oops, just a little bit on fire there. Um, but we need to get copper ore. That's the thing. I leave the venison on my horse. What a dick. What a dick. I don't really have time. Uh, I got time to get up to the mountains. I got like maybe maybe 15 minutes. Uh, let's grab this venison. We can at least go up there because we need copper. That's the only other thing. God. I saw you smelting gold. Jesus, is that you? Oh, it's him. Let's eat my... Eat my meat. Oh, is that it? Is that the end of the intimidation? Come on, you gotta do better than that. Hey, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Let's do this. <clears throat> Campfire Jay. That's right. They can stay there. I want to see if I can catch up with this guy. But thank you for the reminder. Oh, you pussy. Come back and role play. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that guy and what was his name? Scooter Brown! <laughs> oh, oh, I snorted. <laughs> ah! Terrifying. When you actually accidentally catch your mouse and the camera goes, Wee! Okay, all clear on telegrams. Jay, calm down. You are your evil cackle going on. Me? I don't do evil. I only do that which is right. Damn, damn, ba damn. Da -da -dum. I think uh, cats on the road, Melfis. Something they're in and out. Clip clop, clip clop. 
Partner. Partner what? Mechanical. Hell you. I just grab my campfire. Mm -mm -mm. I still don't really understand the difference between forward slash me and forward slash do other than that one of them is red. It seems an unnecessary delineation, but that's just me. All right, let's see. We're going to go up the mountains, go and pack my coat. And I think if Scooter can remember correctly, uh, this is where we need to go. Which should mean... Uh, although, let's... Yeah, you see, it, it really doesn't like... Being on the horse. Because all the ammo has come out of my shotgun now. Except I don't think it actually has. Yeah, there we go. Now it's magic. We've got five back in it again. Alright, there we go. Uh, when you're doing meta up or something, sometimes it's easier for one to do forward slash me and then to do slash do so you can see them both at the same time and they're easier. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I think there's like specific differences on ranch, but I've never really understood what the difference is. God, this game is so pretty. I'm slightly intrigued about the guy saying I saw you smelting gold because <sighs> I suspect that's meta because outwardly you would have no way of knowing what I was smelting but maybe I'm overthinking it do is a physical action I believe I've been on the server 1.5 years and still don't fully know <laughs> right dubs <laughs> You finished painting all the sets? That's awesome, Yukina. That's a good Sunday. Does that mean you can just chill out now? I'm very well, thank you, Dave. That was Dave. Love Dave. Great guy. Shame about his wife. Shit, there isn't a stables up here, is there? There's a meta abuser in our midst? Possibly. Like, mate, they could have just gone with gold. Like, they could have seen me at the smelter and just gone with gold as a bluff. But, like, as we all know, outwardly, the character animation, you can't tell it's gold. Well, it's all right, Garth. We'll make a deal, all right? I'll stop in 15 minutes and you can go and do your housework or, you know, something much more boring. I made it sound enticing, didn't I? I love this area of the map as well. I just wish it wasn't so fucking bear and wolf infested. How much further we got to go? Okay. Clearly, Scooter needs to hire a bodyguard. I don't know. It's kind of more interesting to leave him vulnerable. It's alright. Tide can be my bodyguard. Keep your eyes out for rams as well, chat.
I love it when that happens when you're in cinematic mode. Using your son as a human shield scooter? Well, yeah, I can always have more sons. Can't make many more scooters. <laughs> hey, son, you distract them and then I'll shoot them with my bow and arrow. How are we doing? All right, right turn and then up. We'll have to get like the dead, like the, the tiger will have to die. This is entirely hypothetical. Tyke can die and that will send Scooter onto a spiral of uh, evil arc. That's where we'll go. You killed my son. You took everything from me. This is for you, Teague. So anyway, I started blasting. Your son, I didn't know I had you three weeks ago. Oh! Jesus Christ, my dicky penis. This is all because I don't share the same last name. I mean, it does raise questions, doesn't it? <laughs> it does raise some questions. Now, I reckon there's got to be a little stable up here. I feel like this is the sort of place that would have a secret little hidden stable spot. I mean, Biscuits didn't share the name either. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, look, that's where my son set himself on fire. To be fair, they may not have placed a hitching post quite so close to the mine, which is fair enough. Watch out for the copper demon. It's okay, I'm going to check first. <laughs> I need to be quick if I'm going to make this worthwhile. Uh, put that down. Yeah. Thank you. Let's take that off and that off. Don't need the weight. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, really, Gherkin? Why you guys to do this? Come on now. There you go. Have a rest there. You know what Lucius would sell? Luigi boards? Fucking Ellie would, wouldn't he? Have you ever wanted to converse with a loved one who has moved on from this mortal coil? Quail, introducing my 100% accurate patent pending Luigi boards. Why, by only moving this token around this strapping Italian man's moustache, you too can talk to old Aunt Edna and ask her where the rest of that will is. That could work. Lucius could sell anything, let's be honest. We're mining here. No, that's too far in, Scooter. Don't go too far. Who wants a moustache ride? Look, Aunt Edna knows everything about Willie's sales. Hey, dirt and copper ore. Fuck yes. There we go. A moustache. Sales, is your new PC like all up and running now, right? You're not missing any more components? <laughs> oh, excuse me. It is. Then why the fuck are you in a Twitch stream instead of playing every game you own on massive, massively high settings? Sort your life out. Ow, ow, ow. And it's wonderfully bored with maxed out 2077. What did you, did you, I, I didn't look sales, but you went with a, did you go with a 4090? 
film. At 40.90. Nice! Swish. Kobe. I can hear. I can hear the copper demon. I don't actually think we need that much copper ore, to be honest. I think it was only like five bars of copper that we need, which is not a lot. Like, we've got so much iron ore left because we didn't really need much iron. Well, I think that was only like one full weight session of getting iron ore. Oh, speaking of which, Jesus Christ, we're literally at full weight already. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Have you noticed, Catvolk? Like, I, I have how less smeared all our windscreens get now during the summer. You know, on account of us decimating the bug populations. Oh wait, have I got my... Oh, I must have left my... Wait, where's my lantern? Is that on Pickle? <gasps> It's not pickle. It's a gherkin. All right, now we're over encumbered. Okay, so in through the crack. All right, that's pretty easy to remember. I love the way this little run when you're encumbered. I love it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, damn, it's snowing. See, again, like, this is where Ranch it just misses a trick with their current horse spawning, is that it would make sense for Scooter to drop a little campfire and sleep in this cabin tonight, but then when I respawn, I'll be up on the top of the mountain with no horse. And it's, it is frustrating, I must admit. Yep. Come on, let's get some more copper before Jay has to go play Dunda. Oh, oh no. Ow. <laughs> mm. Scooby Doo Doo. There's some more mining. All right, couple more minutes. And I must go get, I still, I don't have to go get ready for D&D because &D I don't have to prep shit, but I would like to go and get a drink. Today we are in combat. We are starting this session in combat. That's my barbarian. What flavor barbarian? Big. Six foot 11, 300 pounds, wields a great ax and a javelin, and has two hand axes. Punches stuff. Goes ragey and frenzy. Uh, it doesn't, Yukina. Yeah. Need to drop that one on you. Path of the Berserker? That sounds about right, yeah. How much is that way? Okay, yeah, we can dump that off. Yeah. 
after this one and that'll do for today ah that's a that's better chat we made good progress today after yesterday's absolute fucking shit show poor scooter brown but that's how it goes chat that's how real life goes some days you're the wolf and some days you're the scooter brown okay yeah i hope so mate I hope so. I do enjoy our interactions. Scooter will miss his son greatly. Okay. I should go. Oh, where's the... I've, I lost the crack. Help. I can't keep putting all of Scooter Brown on a t-shirt. He says too many pearls of wisdom, chat. Uh, I think I have to ride him back to Valentine. Right, otherwise, he's going to be stuck in the mountains with no horse. But 54 whatevers should be enough for, a, you know, a couple of... Oh! A couple of bars, hopefully. Oh, God damn it, Gherkin. Why did you fall down the smallest part? You stupid dumbass, come on. This will count as a path. Yes. Oh, oh. Ah. oh. All right, we're gonna have to ride you a little hard, Gherkin. Scooter's got D&D to go to. I mean, there are. If you do jbritain.tv forward slash merge, because I don't even have the I don't even have the command on this channel. There are um, limited edition Scooter Brown and Obi hoodies and t-shirts. I love sales that I went, I don't even have the command set up on this channel. Yeah, I think there's about nine t-shirts left and nine hoodies. You just don't trust me? It's fair. I mean, it's valid. I'll be honest. I wouldn't either. Bam, 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 bam. All right, comes on, Gherkin. This is kind of wolf territory. Let's give you a bit of stamina back. I don't even like have to get to Valentine. I just want to be closer to Valentine so that the walk is minimal. I should set Scooter Brown up an alt cameo account and have him charge more than I do. <laughs> you know, he's a local celebrity. Okay, I think we can pretty much out of danger noodle space. And one for Lulu charging even more, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, you can add video types onto Cameo. 
I don't know if you can specify a price for each one though, so I should I can absolutely add like a meme one that is a specific Lulu cameo, but it's like 300 pounds. <laughs> I think we're out, we're out of wolfy territory. Have you tried just not being poor? But how would you feel when someone actually buys it? No, I do you not know, baseball. That I wouldn't feel guilty about. Because there reaches a point, right, where if I put something up as a meme, that's like a cameo for three hundred pounds. If you have three hundred pounds disposable income then you're doing all right. And if you're stupid enough to spend it on Lucius telling you that you're not rich enough, then you get, then you deserve it. <laughs> like, that's fine at that point. Because I wouldn't feel like I'm exploiting anybody at that point. I'd be like, that's okay. Like, I would feel worse about somebody, I don't know, giving me a tenner that couldn't afford to give me a tenner. Like, that would feel exploitative to... to, to Oh, here we go. Here's my bed. There we go. Just lie down here. Take a little nap. Okay, here we go. All right, gang. I've got to. I'm gonna come across uh, to here. Uh, I gotta shoot off to um, uh, D and D. Thank you very much for hanging out, chat. I will be back uh, Tuesday uh, on this channel and also uh, on the main channel for Pendragon uh, chat. But have a great Sunday. Enjoy the rest of it. And here's uh, Scooter Brown. Thanks, chat. Have you heard the talk? Have you heard the clamor about this legendary folk? Glamour, he's got you. wisdom in his eyes So much it makes you sick But underneath his clothes There's a great big Scooter Brown He's known throughout the town Scooter Brown He'll turn that frown upside down Oh, Scooter Brown He's a logo celebrity Oh, Scooter Brown Everybody say, hooray! Let me tell you about this man That folks find quite perplexing Some people cannot stand Find him rather vexing, a kooky sort of fellow, the kind you microphone of.